Welcome to Starfinder, the Fragments of Eternity. It is the 20th of July, 2020. I am Ryan, the GM, and at session 61, here are the players. Hello. Hello. I am Colin. And I... Hello, Colin. Hello. How are I'm you, Colin? Play. I am, and uh, yeah, and I will be playing like a Quint, and he will be your operative. And this will be uh, Nico. Nico, get away. Oh, I'm Nico. Spoilers. Oh. Yeah. Took well, spoilers. I actually kind of took my thunder here. I mean, what am I supposed to do? I mean, you just made me repeat what you just said. Like, I didn't say anything about your shtick. <laughs> I just said you were Nico. <laughs> Hello, I'm Nico. And yes. I'm playing Zora. Your resident best captain. Take away, Alex. Thank you, Nico. I'm Alex, and I play with the Android Mechanic. And I'll pass it over to Zig, played by Callum. The Thank you, Alex. Race race. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> for, uh, for my details, just see the previous combatant. Would you rather fight a hundred no. horse-sized horses? <laughs> <laughs> or a hundred... <laughs> What's the end? Come on, what's the what's my other option, man? George okay. Lucas. Yes. No, that was just, that was the question. Would you rather fight a hundred horse-sized horses? No, yeah. would be my answer okay. in that case, then. Yeah. No. Someone no. got to do it right. To be fair, <laughs> I I, gonna I, have a lot of horses, okay? I support this uh, clearly. You know this stable idea. However, oh, I would okay. very much. Yeah, but uh, however, speaking of, what do you remember? from last time. Take it away, players. Uh, oh, that rolls me out. <laughs> no, wow. Is that no, just because you're all settled down now? Is that what this is about, Callum? Huh? Yeah, this huh? is your <laughs> kid. Yeah, you're I fairly tall. The game. the game plays me. Wow. Warning, your first incoming one. game. <gasps> so, Excuse me, there's a GameCube coming, I need to... Uh, mm -hmm. We went to... <laughs> I wanted to see. Easy. You know what? I'm not even going to say what I wanted to see because I forgot um, Abak's name. And yeah. then I kept on. I keep on having B.E. Barakas come into my head. <laughs> well, uh, like, because Commander B.E. Barakas, Barakas Babak. Barakas and because of Babak. Yeah. And I wanted to say that, but initially I didn't actually want to say that. I, I wanted so to Emma O. Narakis and Babak need to just yeah. fusion into B.A. Barakis. <laughs> M.O. Barakis. Yeah. Um, I, we, we went to speak to Babak. Babak joined us upon ship. Mm -hmm. For for tis not wise to set afoot worldly words uh, at the moment. And uh, told us to go and fetch potentially dead stewards and ship from over there where the baddies are by the dragon land. Mm. The D land. I like <laughs> how the dragon. If you listen to this this uh, intro section, you can gradually track my mental decline. I mean, episode to episode. Yeah, I was gonna say just. Yeah, episode to episode, yeah. Like, it's like a chart that you would have <laughs> at the foot of a bed in the hospital. <laughs> wow. And the doctor wow. picks up and like, wow, yeah, yeah, wow is the word. What has happened to this, this poor man's brain? It's fine, because if you turn it upside down, it looks really good. Yeah. And, uh, and gentle listener, the answer is, I'm very old. <laughs> I'm, I'm 31 years old now. Very old. You may as well just put him out of his misery. And, um. Firstly, uh, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> Secondly, actually, though, how dare you? I, I subsist in a diet of, of coffee and beer. Because um, I am two years older than you, Colin. You are. So, Some of my best so, friends are two years older than me, Ryan. Thank you. So shut the fuck up. <laughs> Moving on. Who, who remembers what else? <laughs> 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 I think that just covers it, doesn't it? That was it. No, it does not. <laughs> no <laughs> way! <laughs> oh dear. There's an emergency stop button. And then there was. Uh...
The nectar zone. Hmm. Should we plan it? I mean, mm. something else. We stopped drifting and we started skidding. I don't know. And I could have swear more happened, honestly. I mean, I'm looking at my notes and uh, it definitely has at least seven words on it. At least seven words? At least seven words on my notes. Uh... Three of which are definitely weird met second. <laughs> yeah, that was that weird thing. Oh, yeah. Remember? That's what I, was, I said. Yeah, and he met, <laughs> and he met second. <laughs> first, <laughs> yeah. The second was here. Yeah, mm -hmm. I remember. Yep, that's it. First is also I was going to call him number two, and I was going to say like number one, but then I was like, I don't think that's right, so I'm just going to let somebody else say the word before I say it. <laughs> I mean, or you could have said, what was that guy's name again? Right? That yeah. was also helpful. Nah, it's like, uh, uh, so that guy... Uh, <laughs> like that. Uh, <laughs> madness. Hator madness. So, anything else to recant, recount, or... I guess, rebuff. Wait, we'll answer can't things? Yeah. New rule. <laughs> From this session on. Mm. I'll withdraw all previous Oh, yeah, 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 but back's <laughs> going to. Back's a bro, that's, all, that, that's, that's the final. Uh, I mean, to be fair, he's, he's kind of always been kind of decent, hasn't he? So. Uh, yeah, he's a pro, man. Yeah. He cool. Good guy, good guy back. I like him. He's, he's, he's a good one. Yeah. It feels like, though, you're trying to make some kind of grander point, though, by saying that. As well, if there's. He's going to get his Ivan. I mean, he's a good guy. Uh, but it's, just, it's almost like you're trying to say that you've not met other nice people in the game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean. I think uh, you've met loads of, loads of nice people, right? Queen can be nice at times, right? Uh, to Zig. Um, I guess Mike's new. new. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He was nice. Mike from Mike's Nudes. Mm -hmm. He was a good guy. Aye. The best guy. Um, guy. <laughs> That's Marty. it. Yeah, Marty. Marty was a nice guy, right? Mm. Ah, Marty was like. <laughs> okay. Out of the list of people I thought you would have liked, it, Marty did not make that list in my head, but yeah, okay. <laughs> sure, I'm glad I'm glad he's like Marty. I mean... He's in recent memory, that's why. Ah, okay. All the people I like are dead. Wow. Uh, Apart from the crew, I like the crew. Wow. Uh, <laughs> good. Good catch. For Bowden. <laughs> I mean, Just let be, me level up a few times before I, but before I am. Um, to be, let you know my true feeling. To be fair, Nicole, like you don't know when he's talking about, right? So. <laughs> true. <laughs> oh dear. Well, this is going well. Um. Right. Anything else still to cover, or are we, are we um, caught up? First in space, slow button, second first, and uh, the the planet. Hmm. Yes, the planet. Mm. The planet Earth. <laughs> no Earth. No. Oh shit. Galarian. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I was about to say that. Oh uh, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fully done. Weird, gassy, slutty bark fast. Is there? <laughs> yes. Yeah, sure. Right. Sure that Galarian is uh, space language for Pathfinder. <laughs> I feel. Sorry. I feel like most people know that uh, if if they've came here for either Starfinder or Pathfinder content, oh gods, I'm so sorry. And secondly, uh, at least I you mentioned made a mistake somewhere in life. Right. Um. <laughs> But yes. I'll tell you what, no, we have as much rev, 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 relevance, thank you. Yep. relevance uh, to Pathfinder and Starfinder as the Starfinder core rulebook. True. I would go so far as to say the more better than mm. the rulebook. More, more relevant. I, I would second and third all of these, in fact. Uh, in fact, I might even also first them. I am as well. So I'm trying to figure out why the better grass than the he's poison rules. Else, though. He's elsewhere. The poison rules are forbidden from now on. Yeah. So <laughs> elsewhere is the next incarnation of next, by the way. So. Okay. And yeah. <laughs> now it's Query's next incarnation, right? Uh, I hope that's a few down the line. To be honest. <laughs>
Well, I mean, what line are you on right now, right? So that seems very, uh, I guess, relative. Um, speaking of that, though, uh, if you are happily caught up in this, there is going to be a slight change to the rules. You are going to love this, right? Because why not change the rules 61 yeah, sessions in? So Why not change them every session, frankly? Actually, do you know what? Okay, we'll try that then, right? Changing the rules every session. Um, however... Can we change uh, the system every session? Uh, yeah. I mean, probably, actually, at this stage, point. right? Like, would, would MD notice? Because sometimes we just go without rolling dice. So, like... I mean, true, that's really true. <laughs> Like, we should maybe pull that, like maybe I mean, at some point. <laughs> like to be fair, I feel oh, like do you even notice it. I, like, probably not. I'm actually just trying to think. <laughs> There's probably been a session or two in the last say, ten sessions that I haven't even realised we haven't rolled dice in. So, like, yeah, those happen, right? Mm -hmm. um, no, my change is going to be that the rules uh, implementation change, uh, as it's officially known as. Not that I messed up my brain is that the goals will only be reviewed at the end of the session now. Yeah. Um, that's it. Because why spend more time at the start? But I'll start that from next week because I'm hitting you with it this week. So let's, uh -huh. let's move on to goals ah. now. <laughs> um, so, goals. The reason for that change oh. is because you really should know during the last like the events of the session you just completed what you feel is the new, the new priority to focus on, and it gives me a week to work on it, not a week for you to not think about the goal. So, uh -huh. yeah, no, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on to 61 sessions later, and uh, here I am learning. Um, ah, but Ryan, Baba Hassan, never thinking. <laughs> Uh, it's I a, don't know this gentleman. It's a line from uh, the old uh, Star Wars deal, Knights of the Republic. So mm. it's alien ease, quite frankly. Baba Hassan. Uh, right. So goals. What? Are goals. any of them changing? Uh, uh, not mine. Would it be cheesy to that go or not? Ah, it's not changing. Just, it's not changing. Do you know what? Just share the whole thought process with oh, the group. Why not? I just noticed that it's not cheesy because Colin's done it. What have I done? Get this Stuart ship and tail crew. Yeah. Please. Yeah, I, I thought it, it would have been a bit, a bit too cheesy, you know, because like it's just like the literal but immediate thing we're about to do, but yeah, that's fine. Like, I ain't too good for that. I mean, I feel like... That's still a difficult thing to achieve, though, Nico. Right? Yeah, like, it, is, it is, but it's still like, literally the, the, the first. Right. Yeah, but, but, yep, I agree. I agree. It's difficult. It can, it's not going to be a cakewalk, probably. But also, there is the part where you're like, you know, what if we just didn't do that because we got a phone call from somebody somewhere else, right? So, like, I don't know. another person had a gun. Yeah, and that gun was pointed at them, you know, or something. At this point, it was pointed I even at got a gun and pointed at them. Okay. Yeah. Of course, he save Ivan. Mm -hmm. And by that I mean we have to do that thing that Babak needs so he'll save Ivan. Uh, exactly. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sides to every penny. Technically, yeah. that is the situation. And six sides to Ivan. Part of the crew. Oh dear. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. So we've got goal one. Is that changing? Which is still establish a self sustaining revenue. Um, oh, because I can't really think of it in that. Other than I mean, keep in mind you are even you are a group of four. Yeah. Remember, so it doesn't just need to be Unico that thinks of it. If MD has any like sure. pertinent uh, updates, changes, or um, you know alterations, <sighs> if they wish. I mean, it's still got to happen straight away. And if you just can think that I'll go, that you can replace it with a new. Like, I'm not really thinking of anything at the moment. I think that's the way I want to like try and do the um, the goal review at the end is have those specific questions. Did you feel you worked on it? Do you feel you still can work on it? Uh, is there something that's more important right now? I can work on it, but it's probably more mm -hmm. important for you to do right like in the young girl's heart. No. No, he's done it again. No. He's done it again. Reverse. Oh, God. <laughs> what, what did I do? Not you. It's... <laughs> oh, oh, wait. It was, it was... So, Colin, I'm gonna, like, I'm, I, I hate to shatter this bubble, but there are three other players. Like... <laughs> right. You know I don't accept this. Um, oh, no, dude. I realised immediately when you said it was yes. the, it was our, our resident uh, evil. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
Xander. Or, or Xander. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> okay, so, moving on. Goal number two. This is why I'm moving them to the end of the chats. So, uh, goal number two. Right. Yes? Yes. Tell, talk me through your thoughts. I want to find out who number two works for. <laughs> so. <laughs> so. <laughs> how long did you think you were yes. going to get away with that for? <laughs> <laughs> because well, it's achievable. I mean, is it though? I, I thought I might go and ask him, and then find out if he's if it's so, achievable that way. Who is number two? Uh, second. Okay, but second. If I called him second, then I wouldn't have got the Austin Powers reference. You in. would not have got the Austin Powers. No, and I feel like that—that's my angle on this. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Second only makes you wonder. There's a reference you could use that a second in it. Mm. <laughs> it also, coincidentally, um, that song includes the line, the first one doesn't hurt at all, which I hear is, is widely disagreed with. <laughs> uh, because many feel that the first cut is the deepest. That's the tumbleweed going by. If we don't acknowledge him, he can't see us. Fucking <laughs> voice chat T-Rex syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> don't demonetize us, Colin. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, again, it just makes me think of No Man's Sky again. That stupid video. The expectation versus reality one. Yeah. But anyway. George Lucas, though, it? Probably so, not. Nothing to do with it, but I assume he does. Find out Are we looking who... for Steven Spielberg? <laughs> I yep. forgot Spielberg made it. 60 sessions was good, guys. Who do you think would win in a fight? Yep, we're good. I knew Lucas, Lucas didn't make it. Uh, Spielberg, yeah. probably. Yeah. Yeah. I think, Why would you ever expect things to have gotten better? I don't know, like, just everlasting, unquenchable, sadly immortal hope. Like, that? Maybe? Optimism is a fool's game. Mm. Ready Player 2. That's a thing that's happening. Yeah, but People speaking of number like two and second, the second goal, number two, what hey. is the goal going to be, Alexander? <laughs> uh, yes. So currently it says Gap says what? Uh. I should just start drinking. To not be honest, it's uh, probably uh, it. It's really good. You should. That's kind of my thoughts at the moment. I'll do you one better. <laughs> Where, Galarian? True. So, um. Whence? Whence to div. Um. Okay, so, goal three. I'll just move on till goal two looks like a goal. Um. Retrieve Ivan, the king of the O Baby. Do you know what that's worth? <laughs> it's an O Baby, do you, do you know, know what that's, that's worth? worth? Uh, Galarian. Heaven. <laughs> Heaven is a place on Galarian, place yeah. On, mm, I guess Ivan's on a place called Versus. Ivan's on a place called Versus. Oh, baby. <laughs> they say on Versus that the Vesk <laughs> come first. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible content. I'm sorry, MD, who's watched this far. No, no, I apologise. This is great. I'm this is fantastic content. <laughs> I give him um, like a beautiful second voice, like. <laughs> you could do that. You could do that. Because the trailer for a blockbuster. They say in heaven, love comes first. But on earth, one man must save the president <laughs> from intergalactic sex terrorists. It feels just so lackluster. They're right only in like you know. I feel I feel like they have to be bigger. Right? Perhaps giant intergalactic sex terrorists? You know? But then how would they sneak into the White House? Uh, they wouldn't. The White House would sneak into them. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There's the twist that M. Night Shyamalan never saw coming. Ooh. Right, guys. Goals. Talk me through these goals. <laughs> Please. <laughs> 
but do it better than you have managed thus far. We're gonna get Ivan back. Right. Possibly by doing the next objective. Right. Is that too far? Right. Okay. There seems to be no goal five. Is that deliberate just to make this process yeah. less painful? Did That's someone it. get rid of goal five? I could have sworn there was one. There was one. Which of you is responsible for, for this trick? Uh, I have hot control Z once, <laughs> and it is not me. It was me. me. <laughs> <laughs> of course it was you. Right. Find a way to navigate weird space and secure egg there if we can find some way of getting it back. I can't read that font. It's terrifying. Well, it thingy to the font. There you go. It's ah, <laughs> it is beautiful. Oh, no. As it is dangerous. Why Why have you done this to us, Callum? Why couldn't you just have left the format it, as it, it? It's still bad. <laughs> it's I almost would follow there. you across the stars a thousand times and back twice as many. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like it's that Brannigan quote. Um, <laughs> it's, um, it's from Tegtone. Tegtone. Okay. Yeah. Tegtone, sorry. Tegtone. Not right. Tegtog either. Um, right, so find way to navigate weird space place and secure egg there if we can find some way of getting it back. Uh, uh. Who do you want with me? So, is there a is there a reason you need the egg? Well, I feel like you can't. You need to be able to keep tabs on it, you Because know? if we can find our way there, then. Many numpty can get there. I don't know if you finding your way there was the right phrase give or if me, you. Give me this, Brian. We found your way. Okay, fine. You found your way there, apparently. <laughs> give me this. I, I need just one more. So, um. Oh dear. Oh dear. So. Do you know what you said? No, I'm, 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 I'm looking at goal two now. I'm just. Like, how many lawsuits is this What's session going to incur? Am, am I getting closer? I don't know. Are you getting closer, Alex? I feel like that's maybe an off stream conversation me and you could have in private. <laughs> um, <laughs> but however, back into the game. Uh, goal two. Find out how we got to Magrathia. 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 Um, and uh, who commissioned Galarian 2 and what happened to the whale slash petunias. Okay. Mm hmm. Weirdly, it's almost reminding me of something else. Uh, yeah. Mm. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. A nightmare on Elm Street. Right, well, I feel like out of the valid goals here, I'm probably just going to move on. So the game starts. So I'm valid. Fight the warps to it. Yes, yes! <laughs> is this... <coughs> is this find, find warps to is this just why are this caving and fading all my games? <laughs> <laughs> They're beautiful and I love them. So, Callum. That was me. Right. Oh, that so, is me. That's so my name. You wanna fi find a <laughs> way to navigate weird space and secure the egg That's there. If we can find some way of getting it back. So, you do well, realize that is a contingent goal. Because it's contingent on the second part, right? Hold on. <laughs> I mean, yeah, sure. That works better. And hopefully be able to get it back. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. And by that, I assume that's just the current name you'll be giving this place for now, Alex? Get out of negative zone. Yes. Cool. Ah. Okay. Do okay. I should that also so we're in... Oh no, you're in negative zone and we're in weird space. Yes, just we're in the same place. Yeah, but didn't he go, he sees things that we don't see, with people that we don't see. But you don't even know what's happened to him. I don't I know what's things. happened to him exactly, so, you know what? <laughs> I assume by negative zone he meant where the ship was. Okay, that's fine. Yes. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, so you're, you, were, you were okay, don't worry. You were good the first time. Okay, sorry. I'm very tired. Okay. Okay, so. I'm 
and like I said, he's okay. But he's okay. He's okay. <laughs> okay. He is okay. That's what they say in the streets, so like, instead of, don't worry about it, like, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Hey, 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 hey. It's okay. I mean, I don't know who they are, but yeah, sure. I guess they say that. Um, Tony, I've got stuff in my cheek pouches, eh? Hey. <laughs> so. Good job you can regurgitate that in your bonus action. <laughs> Quick action, but yeah. Quick action, well. <laughs> hey, that's for sure, eh? Hey. Oh Aren't my god. Americans awful? I think I I'm mean, just gonna open better. the game with all my NPCs and then just move the camera between my NPCs and just. Just monologue to you guys for a bit, and then end the session. <laughs> All right, so it's the six to one episode special where Ryan just talks absolute wank to himself <laughs> for a couple of hours. <laughs> just squiggle with line, squiggle line. <laughs> this is, this is, this this is your rise to fame, Ryan. Like, this, no, is this is like the, uh, the the prequel trilogy. Oh God, why why are you trying to shoehorn that in? Why? I don't know. I just I'm really deeply amused by George Lucas and all these works. Yeah, um, who knew he was such a good comedy writer? Um, oh, uh, yes. So, think of the solar system of the Pact Worlds, shall we? Think of that, and then think of a planet that looks very angry, with a big angry face at the edge of the solar system with you know angry clouds and lightning and turmoil and some ships approaching and then the kind of barren wasteland of ground and dirt and various other such rocky formations with a nice kind of almost slightly green tint to everything in the, the filter of the camera and uh, the ground cracks open, a big mighty crevasse opens and lightning sparks out from the belly of the planet and uh, lashes out into space, kind of wrapping itself around one of the ships and then we cut inside the ship and literally every alarm you can imagine going off uh, through different sections of the ship and then it clicks back to outside and it just <laughs> explodes. And then we cut back to Zora and Lyco. Okay. Okay, you left, plenty of back. That's where we left, right? Yeah. Okay. So you're basically on the final hour in orbit yourselves. Uh, oh. <laughs> Alice, please, we'll speak to Babak. I can't remember. No. We spoke, we spoke. Yeah, we spoke to him just us, right? Yeah, you just met him in the shuttle bay and then walked to the conference room and Finn helped him interface with the uh, like the comm system so that he could show you some information. That was about it. Alice, last you heard of her, she was going to get a gun in case there was a problem. Okay, cool. Right, so... And you haven't seen her since. Let's go for Alice and on the situation, shall we? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Garrett's a pilot. I mm -hmm. uh, will call him Alice. Okay, what are you saying? Uh, Alice? Everything's fine. My back's cool. We've got a wee bit of mission. And by a wee bit, I mean we've got a mission. So we don't need guns? No guns. No guns necessary. Yet. We, uh, yeah, we will probably need guns. But not here. Oh yeah, I, I'll, uh, I'll join in in the conversation if I can. <laughs> Imagine you said you couldn't and then all that's redundant. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, you can. My number. Yeah. The open frequency. <laughs> I... And then, uh, a panel kicks off the table and she crawls out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like a rifle in her hands. She's like, Yeah, I heard everything. Ah, Finn was not tell talking crap about you acting more like a. That's fine. Um, I guess you heard everything. 
She did say that, Cap. She finger uh, gun, finger guns Lyco. Uh, <laughs> good, good what? Uh, <laughs> keep up. <laughs> <laughs> She, okay. sal she, she salutes she's like haphazardly, you know. So, um, she's, she's learning some stuff. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I wouldn't, I wouldn't hit on the table. Um. <laughs> also, also, um, I learned that from when Finn kept asking me to leave the ship for the first couple of days. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that, that. Uh, I guess you will. Yeah, makes sense. Um, yeah. Does it? Hey, did they know you were part of the crew, really, right? At that point? You didn't tell the him? Eyes. Uh, no offence for the eyes thing. Uh. Why, <laughs> why, why would I take offence? Uh, no, my. Okay. <laughs> So, we have coordinates, shall we, shall we follow their path? Just feel a sea, sea tap on your head, Zora. Zora. I get it! Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Is that a scaramander or? <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> uh, I would look up to the best of my ability. Yeah, uh, and then up. and you just and then you just feel him grip tighter as you tilt back the way, I guess. Oh, uh, eyes up. <laughs> yeah, like there's no other response. It just seemed like he was tapping in response to what uh, Lyco had said. Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> So, shall we get over things, I guess, then? What things? Uh, got to go save some cops. Uh, I mean, you call them cops in this universe, right? <laughs> sure. Uh, but Captain, I'm not expecting survivors, based on what he said. Ah, uh, you're probably right. I wanted to keep your hopes up. Yeah. Appreciate the optimism. It's probably more like a... Grab the intel and see if we can recover the ship. Which is also probably a no, but... Intel should be good. There might, you know, there might be survivors. Would not. I wouldn't get my hopes up, though. If they, uh... If they got caught, they would have... Well, they'd have been taken care of pretty pretty thoroughly, I would think. It's not like the Vesk to be sloppy about taking out the present threat. No, there's every chance we're probably gonna run in a at least a patrol war with it, though. Do you think there's any chance of an ambush? <sighs> they won't attack the ship. That's Why? Because look like Vesk. Oh. Yeah, they, they would have no particular reason to think it wasn't one of their own. And since this was an officer's ship, they would probably just think that it was an officer with a mission they weren't privy to. Or at least that's what I'm hoping for. But, and... The boss comes to I could don a helmet and act like... A lackey. If that doesn't work... Well, if that doesn't work, then we'll need the guns. That I would not. <laughs> I think um, you see over the, like, the tannoids, the kind of PA, the intercom, whatever you wish to call it. The, uh, the voice boxes. You hear, um... Why not just change the transponder codes? CC, I assume. No, just like no reply. Uh. And how would we do that? To what end? Because, sorry, I said I'm dumb. 
Yeah, can I, can I, actually, can I roll computers to see if I understand what he's talking sure. about? Sure. It's um, piloting, you need to roll. Piloting, right, okay. Yeah. I have some points in piloting. Mm -hmm. Hey, look Are at that! Even? Look at that! We've rolled some dice! Because okay. <laughs> Colin doesn't have a clue what he's talking about. What's he talking about? <laughs> uh, the transponder code is what um, signifies like what you are in space to, right, so to okay. other things. So you could just say, we are a cargo ship called La Bamba, if you right. wanted. Or you could say, we are the warship Calamari. It's an old code, basically. Or, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, it's not so much you transmitting codes, really, but it's kind of like your license plate in space. If they investigate you, they'll find something that would yeah, make them less suspicious. Yeah, it, that's a good idea. It's a digital license plate in space, if you will. Yeah. The mark of the beast, I think, is what you're trying to say. Um, I, I don't know if that is what I'm trying to say, to be honest, but, I mean, why not? I'm happy you explained that. I knew what the transponder code was, but I wasn't too sure to what it is. Yeah, we, we, we did discuss it before, but I think we, we forgot. Mm. Yeah. This is also why you have oh. people like CC with you, though, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. So Zora, the big dumb dumb will be like a transponder code. Yeah, yeah. and I think that all just comes up, right, in the, the display. Yeah, and yeah, and yeah, Lyco yeah. can obviously <laughs> annotate the design, the, the discussion, because he knows it all. Yes. <laughs> Unlike Colin, Lyco actually... I think knows. because, well, like, Lyco would have to have used databases to look through that when yeah, exactly. tracking people as a cop. So and a bounty hunter. So yeah. It's one of those things where like obviously it just makes a lot more sense for your character to know it even if you don't necessarily quite grasp the ship stuff. Mm -hmm. Um so yeah, well like oh I'll do it sort of in character. Like yeah, we would um if we if we take CC's suggestion we could uh change our code so that we read as one of one of their I don't know, patrols or, or maybe uh an officer's vessel. I mean, I know we are an officer's vessel, but an officer they might expect to see. Although that's risky, because they might try and contact us. Something um, else I want to add in there as well is I don't know how much Lyco knows about this ship, for like when you say it's an officer ship, because technically it's not an officer oh, ship. You know it's It was right, the Obsidian yeah. Stars ship that was assigned to Zora, and it has no official designation because right. you can put one in. Well, that's something that, that you know maybe like was just wrong about that. Yeah, and like so I just wanted to like highlight that because I don't know if Zora had ever had that conversation with Lyco about the nature of the ship at all. But that is something that Zora yeah. knows about the ship. Yeah, yeah. It just means that this ship can, if the Obsidian Star wanted to say surveil another officer, for example, they could just assign themselves a ship ID to be part of their fleet, right? And then the officer is not going to know because he's an officer possibly too busy doing all the nefarious backstabby stuff. Right, so... So, Cap, were you uh, trying to go unseen among the Vesk? What would be... What would you want them to, to read us as? Well, if we want to hit drop with the ship, find it, yeah, tr transport at this point. It would just look like, well, clearing the place out. Sounds like a plan. Um... So, again though, for Zora, right, just as a wee, a wee thing, if you were, say, a troop transport, which technically the ship is, right, that is the model of the ship that you have, is a troop transport, the, uh, the problem with that is if you were detected going to the ship, like let's say you, you got there with the final hour, you docked with, um, for my own brain, I can't remember the exact name of the ship, but it started with a K that I said last week. Um, I'll bring that up in a second. But yeah, like if you docked with that ship and another Vesk ship was like, what are you doing here? They could easily just look at the list of, but there's nobody meant to be doing that. Right? Yeah. So. I'm not saying it's not possible, I'm saying that it would require a lot of, like, then, follow-up bluffing to justify it, mm. right? So that could be done, 100%. I'm assuming we're going to have to bluff our way out of somehow, at some point. I'm just thinking of the best bluff. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's <laughs> fine, I just, I just want, like, I want you to kind of just understand what, like, you would know, it's, right, anyway. Cause a obviously supply the ship would be cool when we're getting there, but then they would see a supply ship just stuck to an R ship and it'd be like, hey, mm -hmm. like, 
Uh, it could happen either way. Like, it depends. So maybe not a supply ship then. Maybe well, have. So how about we'll sort of talk through it in character? Like, mm -hmm. um, if we're going to be uh, scavenging a ship, what you know? What could legitimately do that without being investigated? See, I'm trying to think like what a scout, I guess. Nah, because why would there be a big transport ship with a scout craft? Remember though, if someone's scanning you from a while away with sensors, they're only going to get whatever the transponder tells them you are. It's yeah. not like they've got a telescope hanging out their goddamn glass window. True, true. So we'll just call it that, yeah, possibly a scout craft. I was trying to think of like a fancy name for like a vet, what would a vest would call a scout craft. A scout like a craft. craft or something like that. <laughs> Shock trooper almost. I feel like the vests are very matter of a fact, right? Yeah, um, yeah, probably a scout craft. Yeah. Probably some sort of scout. I mean, I don't know, it doesn't have enough scary adjectives. Mm. That was my thinking as well, but I mean, we'll go with it. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, only the Vesk get the scary adjectives, right? Their stuff their stuff didn't win the battle, they did with the stuff. I can just imagine that they would just call it Destroyer as well, and Battleship. It just wouldn't, they wouldn't have like any fast Battle like. Destroyer. <laughs> right. Destroyer. So the, the Kivalari is the ship you're going for. The Kivalari. Yeah, I should probably just type that somewhere. Kivolari. Who's Larry? The Kivolari. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, I mean, there was the option that you could just go as a. some kind of response team, right? Because they would then have a reason to go on the ship. Mm. Right? I don't know what type of response team, but a response team. The only thing is if you say, oh, like, yeah, we're a medical response team, or we're like a prisoner transport team, and there's nobody left alive because the Vesk know that, then that would be dumb. But you don't know that. So that's one of those, do you risk that in that fall apart? Or is it like a salvage op? Is it like a, a data retrieval one? But then again, any of these things that you say you are, if it then, you know, turns out that's not what's inside. Because you just kind of have to guess a bit yourselves, right? Well, this may be something we can use our scans for, like get close enough to the ship to scan it and then, you know, change to something appropriate so that while we're on the ship, if we get scanned, they'll go, oh, right, that, that makes sense. So if you turn up and scan things, that is more likely to get you detected, though, as well. Because it's yeah. kind of like you going up and shouting, hello! to see who shouts hello back. And I go, wait a minute, somebody's in that room. Yeah. This day's got the act of sonar almost. Yeah. Like, you lay up like a Christmas tree. Like. Yeah, because your, obviously, sensors will be using, you know, energy, and then that energy is a signature. And then people scan for energy signatures with their sensors. And obviously the vest don't specifically care about hiding, right? So, yeah, yeah which is why you might not necessarily have a, like a super stealthy ship, but you definitely have a ship that you, the Obsidian Star, have fitted so that it can read as other ships, um, which is in your favour. It's obviously something that CC has discovered while rewiring half the sensors. We'll go with a scout. I mean, the scout craft probably is just the best bet, man. It's just the most almost like wide All range thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah like, I want you could. I see it. I see what you mean. I mean, you know, like obviously uh, Zig and uh, <laughs> Weird are more than welcome to weigh in on the, the thought process part of this discussion if they want, if they've got any ideas. You could call it a class preemptive strike. Okay, so Weird? There you go. <laughs> I go with gambling. Gambling. And prepare a bomb and back up. Okay. Um, I'm glad you are on the other ship. Um, yep. <laughs> just, just turn up and you know, pull rank and uh oh I forgot about this bomb <laughs> yeah I mean <laughs> you've got Colin and Lyco there so you can bluff your way through it yes totally. <sighs> you can pretend to be a Vesk officer and you've got, I don't like, think I can pretend to be a Vesk officer but I could perhaps pretend to be something that would be of use to them like a merc or something which wouldn't be 
far from the truth. Or several days in drift space makeup montage, getting you up to Vesk levels. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, I have bonuses uh, to to, uh, to di disguise, uh -huh. although I would get less bonuses to disguise if I were disguising myself as a Vesk. But less bonuses still implies bonuses though. Yeah. So, I mean... Just like stuff some cushions in a vest suit, man. It's one of those Star Trek episodes where they have to do up the crew member as like a Klingon or a, like a Romulan <laughs> or something. <laughs> yep, and then it's the, yep, it's the culture shock episodes. Um, right, okay, so, serious talk though, <laughs> but... You used to have a think about the plan that you wish to implement, right? Have a think about it, I'll come back to you guys. We'll switch over to the Clusterfuck team. So... Thank you. You're welcome. So, moving over to Weird. Hello. Hello. So, you find yourself staring at a very well-known planet, and you're standing next to your former self, I guess, um, at least visually. Um, and he's kind of standing there clasping his hands and turns to you and says unfortunately you won't be able to stay to see its completion the work this is very sensitive why are you doing this? it must be done why? he like tilts his head like he doesn't understand. Did somebody ask you to do it? And he stares at you, and then... Like, again, like, mouth slightly open, head slightly tilted, and then, like, it stands up straight as if almost devoid of personality. And it says, I am second. Can this I speak to first, please? First is elsewhere. Second is here. What are you doing with this once it's completed? He okay, looks at you kind of almost like suspiciously now and turns back to like, you know, the planet. Does when the work is complete we will be putting it back. Did you take it? The planet was broken. And it kind of like waves at it, and like maybe at this point for the visual effect, the kind of red cracks in the surface like glow slightly brighter. You know, the budget, you know. And then um, we click back to both of you, and it says, It was broken. We have taken it. We are fixing it. It should not have broken. It looks to you as if it's waiting for you to say yes. <laughs> you know, like some form of acknowledgement. How was it broken? It like recoils its neck a bit. And, uh. I mean, you've seen yourself get embarrassed before, right? So it looks like it's not really comfortable sharing that. And it says. We broke it. How? It is not a matter of how. It must be undone. And that what is what is? we are doing. But I would like to know how so that it doesn't happen again. It will not happen the same way again. Whether it gets oh. destroyed a second time is what? not our concern. Also, Colin takes a hundred damage. No, Lyco, just Colin. No, just Colin, yes. Lyco's fine, me and him are cool. <laughs> but yeah, it looks quite, like, pointed when it says, you know, it would not happen, it would not be destroyed the same way again, right? Like, when it says that. 
It's very specifically like, how dare you imply this would happen again? You know. Um, sorry, could you just? It would be helpful for me to understand the context here of how it got broken. It like looks up as if thinking. It says, "You are mistaken. The context is not important for your function." What is my function? And it looks at you and it says, "Of this, I am trying to ascertain." And it waves at the planet, and it says, "You are here to see the work." And I have seen it. It nods, and then you wake up and just stare at the bridge roof. So, um, Zig, you uh, hear weird hit to the deck of the bridge. While everybody was looking at the kaleidoscopes outside. Um, I think Zig just kind of runs over. Um, first of all, checks to see if he's still alive. Um, and then sees if he's like, you know, respond. Like, you know, your standard first response. This sounds like you want to roll a Medicini. Uh, a very possibility. <laughs> That's pretty good, actually, yeah. So, yeah, during your exam, a uh, weird opens his eyes. Weird, 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 weird. Yes. Ah. You, you okay? You, you kind of just, you know, decked it. Yep. Laying flat on his back, just staring up at the ceiling. <laughs> the look of existentialism in his eyes. I can tell by the look of existentialism in your eyes that there's something you're not telling. No. <laughs> what, what, what happened? Are you, are you okay? Are you feeling sick? Can you please check for skull fractures? <laughs> Zig gets that drill from the engine room. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Regret. Ah, right, where we left it. Um, no, yeah, he'll check for skull fractures, why not? Mm hmm. Okay. I guess the, the standard safe way someone does that. I don't know. I assume feel the head for any cracks, but then that's probably dangerous. No. Just see all the weird LED okay. lines that go around, uh, you know, weird head, and I forget. Do you have a mohawk now? I don't know why I feel like you have a mohawk now. Uh, I like. Don't ask me why I think you have that. I don't know. <laughs> every Android picture. So yeah, it has right. Um, uh, but no, I don't think weird has a mohawk. Cool. Um, yeah. Like it, it weird head looks like for a thirty three on your Medicini. Like no, you're you're good, right? Like yeah. as good as weird was when he fell. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, the thing is, it just gives him the like thumbs up. Yeah, you, you seem all good. A uh, weird, the after image of you like, so you're lying on your back looking up, and obviously you ask Zig to kind of check you over a bit more, and Zig prods at you more. I am. Um, there's like that kind of after image of Nyx standing there, like the, the entity posing as Nyx, as it were, a uh, second. And it's like, again, faded out, etc. as if, you know, definitely not there. Almost you remembering what you were looking at, um, screen burn style. And a name rattles around your head. Um, again, like a, you know, knowledge you've just managed to remember about a dream you had. And the name is Cassandali. And I'll type that in chat for you as well. Alright, then say it out loud. Cassandali. Yeah. I assume that doesn't ring any bells to Zig at all. Don't know. General religion. I 
think we all know where it is. Inner heart. <laughs> I mean, maybe we don't all know where it is then. <laughs> Let's roll culture. <laughs> culture, culture, culture. Is that it? That's pretty bad. It's like the worst you could have rolled, in fact. That's how yeah. bad it is. How bad that is. Yeah. Um, in terms of can be mysticism as well, I feel like that's also like equally as valid, right? Cool. And a uh, weird to do the same culture and mysticism. Uh, let me see. Why would we need a religion? You know, scale in a system with like twenty fucking odd gods. So, um, yeah, for probably the perfect reasons, actually, uh, based on your dice rolls, though. So, Zig... Just leave the clockwork. Go on. Cassandra is, um, based on your rolls. Let's discuss. It is a, a representation of artificial consciousness, life, yeah. emotion, reincarnation, and renewal. The first automaton. So, there you have it. Uh, something that you know, specifically based on your journey <laughs> as a pilgrim, you could say. Yeah. Weird is that Cassandra is one of three. Yes. Or you could say second of three. Uh, oh. Could have been less annoying, man. <laughs> <laughs> Do we know when Drift was introduced to everyone? Uh, yes, that is in the timeline somewhere. Yes. Okay. Let me um, go pull up the timeline, shall I? By that I mean lift the core rulebook and look at the timeline. <laughs> uh, okay, setting, setting, and setting again. Where is the wonderful timeline? So, uh, da, 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 3 AG. Okay. Because Tryon reveals itself and grants the secret of drift travel to the universe, particularly the worlds of the Galarian system. Hmm. 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 Are you having thoughts there, Calum? <laughs> Where's the drow queen? Where is she? Yeah. And she's on the bridge, yeah. Right? Don't think she moved off the bridge. Or if she did, she isn't, she's there now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember where she was last, to be honest, so she's on the bridge, yeah. Uh, Fenida. She kind of turns around. How Weird. old are you again? I think, like, Isabel also turns around and looks at you, like the how dare stare, um, uh, and then yeah, email about it. and then God, uh, please no, Colin, and um, <laughs> don't make me dox you online. Uh, um, um, <laughs> all right, all right, so he's timed out. Col uh, Colin, you're no longer a uh, no longer a game member just now. Uh, Nico, you'll have to do the whole rescue mission yourself. Sorry. Uh, so did I get Colin's guide, at least? Ah, uh, why not? Cool. Yeah, we like like <laughs> Well, that's savage. Uh, <laughs> but not under or uh, Our captain? Uh, <laughs> 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 glorious. My vengeance will be unimaginable. 
<laughs> and hopefully non existent. <laughs> um, therefore. Anyway, so. Thanida uh, calms Isabel by just resting like a hand on like her arm. And she says, You collapse and your first thought is of my age? She yes. blinks a couple of times. Um, I have no way of tracking the time I was incarcerated for. And then she like looks at herself and goes, imprisoned, withheld, detained. Okay. So, so many words for that. Um, I have no way of tracking that, but I was... She kind of like looks. Do I look over 300? Do I? Could I just pass for that? And she kind of just looks at you. So you don't remember Galarian? My... My former home was Castrovel, but I have been to Galarian. Okay. My people travelled freely between both. In fact. And what was Cassandra Lee up to when you were there? Cassandra Lee. She kind of like yeah. screws up her face a bit. As if trying to like work out maybe what that means to her. She says, Honestly, I'm not sure. That doesn't necessarily um, I mean I've not heard of that, but I would maybe have to sit and meditate. On that name. Uh, Cassandra Lee is one of the three parts of Triune. Uh, essentially the first android. I don't know whether you're at all familiar with Bry as well. So. What was the other thing you said? You're at all familiar with what? Bry. One of the other aspects. Right, okay, yeah. Um, she like shakes her head and she says you may not remember due to your metamorphosis but I I misspoke and labelled you as a warforged when we first encountered each other my experience with androids is limited unfortunately um, I will however dedicate some time to this Cassandra Lee, in case I do remember anything. That would be handy. Shall because not? she's rebuilding Galarian for us. Wait, what? Yeah, like, yeah. it's, a, it's a nice rebuilding. Yes. Uh, Apparently, they broke it. I think... I could Isabel is just like staring at you, somewhere between anger and like disbelief, right? And she says, Abadar said Galarian was gone. It was. It's being repaired. How, how, can, how can you repair. Zig, can you check him over, please? I, I have. He's, he's as right, right as. Um... Zig, if you could check him over. Do I, is it, do I assume that that's like magic mind him? I mean, what does Zig take from that? Do you want to roll some sense motif? Or do you... Yeah, are you, are you I <laughs> think I do. I don't want to just guess. <laughs> kill him again. <laughs> I mean... Um, maybe I don't actually. Let's see. No, I definitely don't want to... Right, roll so... Your sense motive gets you, right? You look at Isabel saying that. And maybe it's the fact that Weird fell over and maybe hit his head and is now saying that this god broke a planet and is fixing it. I was just fixing it. But um, this is what happened after he fell over 
And maybe he's been a bit stressed because he maybe caused the engine failure to put you into the negative zone. So maybe it's a stress reaction. And maybe Isabel is like, he's obviously hit himself. Maybe you should do something about that, Zig. You know, like when someone's saying sedate the man, but not using the word sedate the man in case the man wishes to not be Alex. sedated. Yes. I think would be like, uh, I was going to say Alex. Oh, Alex um, wow. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn fine indeed. Um, weird. Thank you. Fine. Sorry, is, is my suggestion of a deity's involvement the weirdest thing about all of this? No, it's the situation that we're currently in. And she kind of gestures behind her to the kaleidoscope. She says, does that fix our current situation? That's fairly small stakes, really. Um... I think Tanida comes over and just helps you up. Like, I think she just, she's maybe kind of done looking at, down at you, literally. <laughs> right? Like, so, I think she comes over and just offers you, like, a hand. Yeah. And then just it helps. It. Yeah, and, like, she obviously, like, leans on the command chair and helps pull you up a bit. Um, she says, have a seat. Thank and, you. And says, uh, don't get comfortable. And she just smiles right. at you, you know. Like, she's being playful. Yep. Because she knows that the tension with Isabella exists. So, yeah, the night is a bit nice. She's become the polite one. <laughs> yeah. But yes, the, uh, I have to agree with Isabella that our current dilemma does leave us somewhat uh, ineffective to render assistance to most things. Does this Cassandra offer you help? Uh, no. Not yet, but if we can spend more time communing with them, perhaps we could uh, understand how to return to this space. As I assume this is a uh, an extension of drift. Isabel looks in deep thought at that. Because if Tryon gave the gift of the drift knowledge, that would check out. If Gassendali is behind this, then they would have access to a kind of gestures to the window, whatever this is. If it was, private dimension. Especially if the drift was either discovered, created, or them the drift. She's kind of like obviously trying to wrap her own mind around the concepts that you've just hit her with. Um, and that is where they are, they've taken Galerian to rebuild. Obviously taking out of space and to a certain extent time. I think Tanida leans in straight away and says, rebuild. Yeah, they, they said they broke it. Did they say if this action was deliberate? They're not the easiest to talk to. She just pats you on the arm. But, um... Or the armour, I guess. Since <laughs> you'd be in armour. <laughs> Captain's chair creaks a little. <laughs> okay. Isabel just starts uh, like pacing up and down. So, push it aside. What do we know? So, you've met Cassandley. Cassandley said they took Galarian, or broke Galarian, and are fixing Galarian. Right? Yes. Right. One part of three. Mm. Where are the other three? Or the other two, even? She rubs her plaster on her forehead. Elsewhere. Right. Do we know where that is? Not here. She gives you a look, but doesn't, you know, take the bait. <coughs> and then she says, Okay, so if they're elsewhere, what are they doing? 
And uh, mm. is that part of what Cassandra Lee is doing? It's all going to be part of the same work, but that work may not be wholly about Galeria. Triune is a triple entity, so it will be with one will. Right, so we can assume the three of them are probably working on something related to each other, even if we can't necessarily piece that together, we can assume it'll be yes. some form of trifecta. Yes. Right? And we are in some space that isn't drift space, but we we can exist here. Time does seem to be moving, at least for us, that I can perceive, and that implies some level of, you know, laws of physics some governing bodies of some kind, and... Yep, I'm, I'm kind of running out of things to list here, guys. I do wonder whether this is the drift between major dimensions that's allowed myself from the dead dimension to come over here. Perhaps that's what Triune is working on. Interdimensional drift. And then yes. I think Sinai says, I feel like I have missed a a sermon or two, you could say. Could you perhaps go back a little and explain that more? Your self from a dead... She just yes. looks, Sinai just looks at you. Nix from a dimension where we lost came to me to give me advice on how to not lose. Uh, lose? To, uh, you lost what? Uh, the battle against the Alibrium. Oh. Should we not be... And she looks out the window and kind of like, you know... A bit of regret creeps over her face, and she says, Perhaps our attention should have been focused on the Alibrian threat, not necessarily... And she just looks at both Zig and then Isabel, as if... I mean, she's doing her best to patch stuff in, right? And tonight is the most out of place here, mm -hmm. so... It's, it's all connected, and we need the allies that we can get. Ronnie and half cocked is what got that dimension killed. Why did you survive? Isabel says. I suppose I chose to leave there. I was going to sacrifice myself. She kind of like, looks like she's trying again, put everything together herself. And then she says, Maybe it's the only thing you could do is try and give another universe a chance. Try and like shrug sympathetically, right? <laughs> it's the logical thing to do. Especially if uh, there was no saving it. Do you think the universe still exists there, or do you think it's gone? Like, you said you lost, but... Or he lost, they lost... You know what I mean? I'm not entirely sure. But, uh, Could this be what remains of it? She waves out the window. Or do you think that's unrelated? I imagine that's unrelated. This, If this is where Cassandra is choosing to build Galeria on, I hardly imagine this is the aftermath of the Alibrian consuming eggs and ending things. Hmm. You know, working for one god was um, challenging enough. Trying to ponder a god in three parts. She just shakes her head and just looks up to like the roof of the uh, like the ceiling of the bridge, and then just puts like her hands over her face and just kind of like rubs her face. 
At least it doesn't involve dealing with the bankers. And you just hear her laughing through her hands. Definitely. Now who's the alt right podcast? You. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back from your home, Fozo. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, I think um, Thanida kind of looks past you, weird, and looks down at Zig. He says, "You're very quiet." I. I have concerns. I think he's maybe like tapping like the the, the side of his like chin. Ponderously, maybe? I don't know. Um, kind of agitated, and he's like, um, If this is like a weird interdimensional drift, and he looks over at weird. Like the Ida just looks at weird when you say that, and he looks back at you. Um, he says, um, It's possible that us being here with Weird is putting us in the step towards losing. Oh, I see. Because the other Nick's Weird, the other of you, Query. She raises an eyebrow and just looks at Yuzik. Oh, and um, the names and things carry on. Did I say query? I don't know. You said query in the space that we were in to him. To query. I yeah. Okay. No. Yeah, because Zig, Zig was there as well, briefly. He just ne he never he left before you changed. That was all. Yeah. And, uh,. But maybe that does catch Weird off guard, right? I am um, the fact that he says query. Um, it technically means that you're maybe not crazy if somebody else knows the name if you haven't told Zig that name, mm. right? It's maybe a nice yep. cementing post of a, uh, you know, what's the word I'm looking for here? Like reference. So, yeah, Thnida says this query person, if they are. Are you from a failed attempt and you are here she waves out the window if your other self is also here wouldn't you be able to speak to them right in this pseudo dimension she just shrugs and she goes, I kind of also learned everything I know from a banker. So, just like, does that thing where she like grits her teeth and just like shows them, you know? Like, ee. <laughs> Hey, query. Everybody looks around. Yeah. And like tonight, uh, sorry, Isabel looks between her fingers through her hands. You know, it kind of, you know, looks upside down under his legs and under his tail and stuff. And the camera does that thing where it zooms out to the ship and then zooms out again so the ship's a small speck in the giant kaleidoscope. And then it cuts back inside. And there's no response. I'm going to take that as a no then. Did you merely speak their name before to contact them? Zig, do you want to do your mind blank thing? With, with, with you? Yes. Um. I, I, I mean. Are you, are you. Are you sure about. that? Is that a good idea? I mean. I'm not sure there is a good idea here, Zig. Let's just get on with it. Right, yes. Yes, you're right. Now he kind of like steps over, sits cross-legged in front of 
for you. I don't know, mm -hmm. go out to shoot him. <laughs> and I think he just like kind of closes his eyes and puts both palms up. Mm -hmm. I think you're, he's waiting on a weird... Yeah. yeah. Lay, laying on palms. Yes. Put the hands on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're getting like my gran who just says everything's a thing we. A thing we. Oh, Alright, a thing we. Okay. So, yeah, I guess you find like I guess. Um, I'm trying to think what I'm sending him. Uh, I guess what he tried to do initially is try and send the the you know the white space with the doors. Um. That, um, at the time, the SK. Mm-hmm. So like, like, it's like, mind. like your mind palace type idea. Yeah. Right. Okay. And then from that, try and like, um, you know, form like the pool from the the info spire the first time. Right. And okay. Kind of just follow down that trail of like every time going through a pool like basically coming up with every time queries in about in because the first time you seen query it was a uh, in the infosphere just the like the data hologram talking to you yeah yep so we'd start there and then i suppose that we'd like, eventually get to in the the, the last time before pre weird yeah like with the ghost pond lady yeah mm-hmm I think he would just go through like every pond, as it were. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay, so you're sending all of that to Weird. He's probably going to fill in a bunch of the gaps, uh, no pun intended, for Weird being like, so that's what happened to Zig all of those times and how we lost track of him for a year. Off down the tunnel. Yep. <laughs> so, Weird, are you going to resist this or let it happen? Um, I'm gonna let it happen. Good man. Do you want to give me a will save anyway? Just for my own notes. Uh, I certainly try. Thank you. Eleven. Woohoo! I like that you told us it before the roll reached us. Um, yeah. That's like you're getting a bit of precognance. Be careful with that though, because you can break this, you know, fabric of uh, space time. Play. Messing with the order of stuff, <laughs> man. Um, <laughs> oh. So, yeah. Sig, can you also give me a will save? Do you know what? I'll try. I'll try my best. Mm -hmm. Where's on the sheet? There it is. Okay. So we have the visual of Zig sitting. Palms up, we have Weird leaning over, putting the palms on Zig's palms, and then Zig summoning the energies, the white glow from the eyes as he, his eyes like snap open, and then we've got the same reflective, you know, visual being Weird's eyes snapping open with the white glowing eyes, and then we cut back to Zora and Lyco. Hello. Well, well, well. Okay. Okay. What? <laughs> said, take it away, Lyco. Um. Okay, I'm good. Right. Okay. We're we're intact. <laughs> um. Oh, excuse me. So yeah. Uh. I I was just gonna go ahead with the pretend to be a scout because I feel like. I feel like that's the most wide range one, and it's the. I've probably got to run a hatch, let's face it. Yeah. It's always a hatch. I don't like yeah, the tone, Nico. <laughs> but, um, I think that's. I mean, I, I, aside from just leaving it as whatever it is right now, anything that we do is going to require a bit of bluffing, presumably, right? Mm -hmm. So it's a case of what you think the best bet is. And the scout, that seems reasonable. Mm. 
like a standard military designation scout craft. Okay. I... Do you want to use one to do that then? Or do you just want CC to do that? So, <laughs> you know how to do this. Uh, you don't, Captain? Um, um, computers in my 40. I mean, I... I'm probably not the guy you would go to. CC, uh, is that... Is that something you can take care of? CC like pats his stomach and points to his mouth. While nodding affirmatively. But patting his stomach and pointing to okay. his mouth. Okay, uh, I'll, uh, I'll bring you some foods. Alice puts her hand up. What's up? I also want food. Yeah, but he's doing the thing. I can do the thing. I mean, she does need to do the thing as well. Like, um, fly. No, I meant, okay, I, meant, I meant the computer thing. I can do that too. I mean, I used to be a computer. Ha ha. Uh, I mean, well, I used true. to be a living person. That doesn't mean I can do the things they do. Except most of them. She narrows her eyes at you like, well, duh. That <laughs> was a bad example. I think Cece crawls <laughs> down um, Zora. Really, obviously, like without regards to Zora's, you know, appendages at all, and um, just kind of crawls all the way over to a uh, Alice, and then just like does grabby hands to go up to Alice. I'll I'll go I'll go get some some stuff. Yeah, Alice picks Cece up and just holds him like, you know, his bum oh. sat on her forearm as she's like you know holding him close and he just holds on to her. Small Barbie. Mm-hmm. It's got nothing at all to do with the fact that she said she used to be a computer and now he's super interested yeah, in her. Uh, nothing at all. <laughs> well, Zora. Uh, I will just, like, follow them and watch, because I don't do computers. In fact, I'll, rather what, I'm going to go get some food as well. Well, I mean, I'll just leave you to it. Yet. I mean... CC just points at Alice and then points towards Zora. And then Alice just nods, and then they just follow you to the canteen. Uh, I was, I was the, gonna bring, I was, I was gonna bring you for guys. No, no, this way you don't have to, because we're here. See, uh, and CC. Cool. That's that's <laughs> that's a great idea. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go do things with with guns. Alice just hands you the gun that she's holding. Oh, uh, this is this? That's a question, yes. Maybe you should keep it. No, I wasn't giving it to you, you, you just, your room's not that far from the armory, so. Oh, I, uh, I didn't really finish my walk around. If you want, you could um, you could just put it on my room. She winks at you. Oh, don't do that. That's weird. <laughs> she looks uncomfortable now. <laughs> uh, I'll put it in the armory. Cece just looks at both of you and then just points to his mouth again. She's taking you to the foot. I don't, I don't know why you're looking at me. He just looks sad and still points to his mouth. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be back, uh, when I have my guns. I'll go and get my... Did we agree that my guns were on the ship but not on my person? I thought, I thought that yeah, was Yeah, we I thought were. we said that you'd probably have planked them in your room when you went to settle yeah. in. Yeah. So, okay. and while you do that, I think Alice and CC will just get food. And, uh, Zora, what are you up to after having probably got food during this exchange? So shall we, uh, Pierce? Pierce? Transponders? Stewards? So, you really don't know much about computers, do you, Cam? Uh, not really, nah. That's okay. Um, uh, 
basically just got given a gun and told to point at the people. That's the, no, no, no. I think Cece is just nodding slowly as he eats a sandwich. Um, but like Alice is like, no, I've I've seen you do more than that. Like you've. Yeah, well, I mean, I've strove to be a bit more than that since I left. But. Yeah, like you get angry and catch fire, right? Ha. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> uh, he would say. <laughs> uh, I've seen you on fire, right? It's like, oh? Oh, wait. Okay. <laughs> um, let's go, Cece. And she walks away, and he like does grab your hands after her, but she just leaves him. Uh, I would pack him up. It just gets oh. picked up like a cat that didn't want to get picked up, right? It just hangs there. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what I wanted. Head to cop that. Yeah. I should make cool. a holiday for the cop that. Yeah. I mean, probably, right? Probably. <laughs> and yeah, he does just hang off your hands, like, the whole way. Um. Yeah, so he gets to the cockpit, and uh, Alice is bringing up all the kind of, like, you know, uh, what would you call them, I guess? Like, the fucking BIOS of the ship, I guess? Um, the transponder kind of codes. It's like, see, you know, you're not supposed to be able to get into these screens, but because I rewired all of this, and she points to the other three consoles, she says, because I rewired all of those, I had to tell the computer that that was fine. And it is, so long as it doesn't overload. So don't overload the console. She's looking directly at you, Zora. Uh, I mean... Because then the console would catch fire. And it's not as good as it... as you are. Okay, so uh, just don't use the console is what you're saying? Well, no. That console controls everything now. Okay. So I'll be using the console for everything. What I want you to do is make sure it doesn't explode. Uh, okay. Um, she just gives you a thumbs up. <laughs> I mean, I'm just like, <laughs> 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 well, that's fine. And then, eh? Uh, I will just try to start to not explode it and <laughs> go. And then uh, he goes, "Can you can you put him down though, so he can do the other part?" He just kind of lies on the ground when you put him down. The cod's so CC. He takes like the like the wrist comb that he's got on one of his six arms and just unbuckles it and just like haphazardly tosses it like half a foot away. Well, <laughs> while just lying on his side. What's up? Uh, it just slowly points to the, the comm Alice device. Zoology. Maybe you broke him. Nah, you got them sad. So, I have another story, Captain. I didn't really <laughs> want to tell you about this because this one's more embarrassing. But, because we were on day three of me hiding from Finn, I decided to go and sign up to a dating app just to see who was out there you know like y you would do you know uh, N normal things and what? yeah so I ignore a lot of people now uh, she just stares at you blankly uh, he's just The console, Alice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not answering that. And she turns and goes, I, I opened the uh, the transponder code, I just need him to do the changes. Cece, can you change the transponder, please? He just points, ag the, he just points again. He just points I'll again at the com. Yeah, like you hand it back to him and he just like throws it again like a foot away this time. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, he's definitely broken. Nice. Oh. I'm just going to go set that. <laughs> there is no captain's leave. chair, by the way, you know that? Like, you just going to pick the weapons I, console or something? Uh, I, I would just sit on a, I don't know, a <laughs> mm -hmm. Just like him. You'll get bored eventually. It's not got a high enough tension span. I know, it's easy. So we've got you just leaning, staring at CC. CC just lying on his side on the floor, <laughs> pointing to his comb that you've handed it back to him, like a kid throwing it a rattle away. <laughs> and Alice being like, so I signed up to a dating app. Yeah. Uh. And she's like, after like maybe five minutes, Alice like, this got strange really quickly. I think that I'll just type in something and we'll just... No, don't do that. Okay. <laughs> you feel like our hands up in the air as if she's. Okay. Okay. <laughs> fucking rattle again. I'll <laughs> <laughs> lift them up and I'll put them on Alice's lap. Alice just like, bef like as you approach her, she just stands up and starts backing away. No, no, no. He's your broken thing. Oh no, no, no! He wants to be. He wants. He wants to be with you. He's taking off. So, that story you didn't want to hear about, um, I'm going to ignore him as well. Like, uh, ignore them all and stay off of those creepy sights. Just like nods slowly. But that that's your problem, Captain. Points at CC. Uh, seems like. I'll just sit on the chair, then on my lap, then I just need a chair there probably as well. Oh yeah, <laughs> like there's there's chairs at the consoles, yeah. Oh like okay, okay, I'll take a seat at the chair then. Yeah. We have my lap. So is this at the like the centre's one, the one that he was sat yeah. at originally? Yeah, cool. And uh he kinda like puts his hand out for his comb. Okay. Bye -bye. And clicks it back in his wrist. And then uh, you get a text message on yours. Oh, it just says she's mean. Mm. I'm not. And he kind of just sits on your lap and crosses his arms. Oh, the transponder code. Tap him on the heat. So, Slightly. so Captain, I'm gonna go leave the bridge so that. Maybe he forgets I exist and then maybe does his job. Or we could maybe let me do it, you know. I'll just do it then, Alice. Put us as a, a, a vest scout vessel. You get a text message. <laughs> what is it? It says it's done. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and it says underneath she can leave. Ah, oh, no, she can. We may as well plot the course in Alice. Captain? Uh. Wait. When, when is it going again? As fucking Triaxis, huh? Is it Triaxis? Where was it? Where was it? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this is vital information to go. This is where I, this is where I, I like actually just <laughs> take the realization of like, wait, have you got a quad or something like that? Uh... Yeah, you do. It's um, it's not quite Triaxis, but it's like somewhere between the orbits yeah, yeah, yeah. of Eox and Triaxis. Uh... Which I know it sounds like a massive area of space that spans a massive like you know diameter, but really, it's very specific coordinates that happen to be in the belt yeah, that yeah. is yes the spaces so between I would tippity tappity quads mm -hmm. to Alice yeah because I feel like Babak sent them over to you right so you know it's probably under favorited that locations now. that makes sense and I think Finn <laughs> appears next to you and says Captain would it be more beneficial if I perhaps plotted the course automatically for you I have full faith in your capabilities, however you do seem occupied. And just stares at the CC. Uh, I would nod. It's the... the... the, the 
was supposed to make it swirl. <laughs> <laughs> make it go. <laughs> Aye, make it go. Says. Go, go. Are we expecting any trouble? Uh, hopefully not, but maybe keep the guns warm just in case. Okay, like looks up second. Um, yes, Captain. I will keep the guns warm for you. Read more of the book. Quite, sir. Quite. <laughs> yes, good one. Uh, good one. Okay, like, you know, Veska salutes the Not air. Vesely. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he just flickers off. <laughs> Alice has left the room by this point. She's going to head down and she's knocking on uh, Lyco's door. Hello. I love that song. Mm -hmm. Knock, yeah. Um, I, I do like Lyco's Dylan's door. I, I, will, I will answer and open said door. And then like she nearly falls in because she was leaning on the door because it's Alice. Right. And she's, oh! Um, uh, you're going to not want to do that. Permission to come aboard, Lyco, and she salutes she like ridiculously over the top. You're on board? I'm Excellent, and she like does a really over dramatic gesture of stepping over the like the bulkhead lip. Oh, steps in the room. She goes So how are you? Um well that's a uh, Tricky question. Oh, I, I thought you meant you were well because you said well. It was it was just one of those things people say like I thought you were telling me you weren't people anymore. She just grins at you. Oh I'm people. I'm just Yeah. It's uh it's been a hell of a time. Hectic. Uh, I guess I'm pretty worn out. Oh. Okay. Um. How's things? She just like That's sh shrugs. Just the same question again. Alice, is something wrong? You seem uh weirder than usual. Yeah, weird is the word these days. <laughs> no, it's knowingly. He just goes, mmm, phases through the floor so he doesn't have to deal with this. <laughs> <laughs> if only we all had that feature, eh? Uh, unfortunately not. <laughs> I'll get there someday. <laughs> Is there something on your mind that you would like to talk about? I think everything on my mind I'd like to talk about, but specifically with you, though. Um, huh, how long have you got? And then, like, stops herself uh, laughing because she doesn't know if that's appropriate or not. <laughs> I, can't, I can't remember. Um, how far are we from our destination? Uh, uh, a while. Yeah. Um, I don't think we're in drift space yet, so I don't. It's like. I, she just shrugs. I, I mean, are we even drifting there, or are we just going to fly? It? Like, I, d I don't know. Um, I left that up to the captain. He seemed like he had it all we're in, not in hand. Too far, I think we could probably just. Fly it. I think if we just flew in, it would be on more under the radar than using drift. Probably. Um, because I feel like they'd maybe detect the drift shift, but at the same time. It's maybe quicker in drift. You okay there, Nico? You're breathing a lot. <laughs> I'm fucking... My stomach's sore, man. Uh, I, so thought I, was I thought I was unbeaten. You're not, but please keep breathing. Sorry. As you need to. Um, so you feel better. Breathe and, uh, when spoken to. And, um... Yes. Uh, we've been through a lot together. You you and I. Right? Sure. Um, and we're like colleagues or friends, right? 
I would think so. Good. She kind of like nods to herself. So friends confide in each other, right? Well, yes. Generally that is the done thing. Right. So, can you confide in me? Uh... Um... I'm confused. Tell me something so I don't tell him, dear. Oh... Um... I'm... Confiding in, in people is more of a thing that people who aren't me do. Right. But you said friends do it. Sure, but I'm... Sometimes you gotta take people as you find them, you know? I, uh... No, I, like, you just took me, and I had to explain myself a lot before you would do that. That's fair. Just nods, okay. like, profusely. <laughs> I'll lean up against the the wall, um, sort of slouched a bit. I, uh... She I does the same on the opposite wall, right? I think what I'm trying to say is that I am probably... I'm probably the, 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 the least likely of any of our crew to sort of just divulge things. That's kind of never been who I am and definitely these last few years is not who I am. People sometimes call me paranoid or secretive. Um, maybe they're not entirely wrong. I, uh, I like to keep my cards close to my chest in a lot of ways. But that isn't because I don't trust you or I don't want to be honest or open with you. I, uh, I just am that way. It's not it's not anything to do with with what I think about you. It's about me being me. I uh So if that's true, then what do you think about me? It gives like a suspicious look. That's a pretty broad question. I mean... I'm a pretty broad. She winks at you. Huh. Uh... Is there something specific you would like to know, or just... Definitely not. Oh. Hmm. But something you wouldn't tell the others. Something I wouldn't tell the others? That sort of implies you think there is something in particular that I am keeping from them. She so thinks about it and goes, does it? Sure. Are you? What? I keep some things to myself, but... Tell me one. Only one. <laughs> Kind of got like a forced smile, right, what on her face. Like, no. Well, if I knew what to ask, I wouldn't need to ask, right? She kind of okay. gets confused. <laughs> I, but I mean, I try to be as honest as can be. Uh, if you want to know why I am the way I am, for instance, uh, I don't really understand that. Uh, I've been told that there's only one person that does, and he's currently also very dead. Um, I thought lots of people were sarcastic. Huh. Yeah, yeah. She just uh, winks at you again. Uh, I can tell you how, in the most literal sense, I remember what happened before this all took over. Mm. Boarded a ship. We we were searching for we weren't sure exactly what the oxy artifacts. There it wasn't clear. 
there was shady dealings going on, and we thought. I don't know exactly what we thought. So. And was this when you were one of the stewards? Sure. Yeah. This was. This was my last mission, of course. And you worked for Babak. Yeah. I worked under Babak. Yes, he was in charge of the station at the time. Who hasn't worked under Babak? Chewing sight again. I. Uh, I wouldn't know. Um. He uh. He wasn't present for this, but I was part of a small team. We had to come up with a plan on the fly. There wasn't really enough of a clear structure, so I took the lead, presented myself as the commanding officer. Um, I spoke to the owner of the vessel, and as such, I was uh, unarmed, so as not to alert him. Well, not unarmed, but I wasn't, you know, prepared. My my weapons were holstered. I, I, I wanted to be conversational. And I didn't fully understand what I was dealing with. Um, but he was... Uh, we, we knew he was involved in some shady things that I understand more now. I think the I think there there was a belief among the uh, some of my superiors that he was actually uh, involved in some sort of, of, of uh, unlawful necromantic research on the station, and they believed that he may actually be much older than he claimed to be. That he had connected to some um, gap era figure that obviously little was known about, but. Whatever the case, he, he seemed to be exactly what they thought he was. He, he was some sort of necromancer. Um, he was able to strike first because he didn't have to reveal that he was armed. You know, he just did some things and then raised his hands and I remember there being uh, a lot of pain for a very short amount of time. And then, then it was like I was asleep, and then I woke up, and I was in a freezer. And that sucked. Uh, but they noticed pretty quickly that there was someone alive in there, ish, and they let me out and kept me in protective custody while he tried to figure out what the hell I was and what they could do with me. I'm glad and you just didn't do that when I came back. Oh, would there be no point in putting you in a freezer? Yeah. I'd probably have worked better. Huh. You're not so biological as I am. Or are you? She just, just pinches herself a bit and goes, Oh. Um, I don't know anymore. I, d I don't know if I knew then either. Um, that's kind of what I wanted to talk to you about. Um, also, your story sucks. It needs dragons. But the there weren't any dragons. The so weird, right? Mm. Big guy, arms. I know. Yeah. Kind of nods, and he just walks out of the room. Um, Alice, I'll follow to the door. I think, like, maybe she just turns when she's out the door and just looks back in the room at you. There's something you want to know about him, or something bothering you about him. Whatever it is, just just come out with it. I might not have the answer, but. Yeah. Fine. Do you trust him? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I do. It's... Trust is a complicated thing. Yeah, I thought I really understood it when I first came on board. 
and the captain made me part of the crew. And then it just seemed to get really complicated really quickly. Mm, wow. You're catching on then. That's that's life for you. So I'm learning. <laughs> um. Let me put it this way. Trust is like... Um, this is not like a linear thing. It's not just, oh, I don't trust Bob. I trust Jim. I really trust Slarglocks or whatever. It's, it's, um, I trust Zig with my life. I don't trust Zig not to accidentally scramble someone's brain. Or kill them, triggering some kind of bizarre metamorphosis into another type of existence. She had gestures vaguely with her hands to herself. I... I can't claim I know what your experience is like. I might be able to compare to mine. I understand why you would speak to me about it, because well... Yeah. She puts her hand up and she's like, she just like shakes her head with like her eyes cl closed. She goes, she opens them and looks back and goes, mm -hmm. I told, I spoke to you because I trust you, Michael. That's okay. why. Well, I appreciate that. Uh, but I thought the fact that I also had experience of that may have been a factor. I don't claim to understand what you went through, but I think you died and came back, or should have died and didn't. And I don't think I was dead. I think I was moved to the side until re replaced back in to where I now am. And she kind of like screws up her face like she's not really ever had to say it out loud before. And she says, yeah, I'm still working on that one. But I'm me now. And I think it's because I'm supposed to be and I guess that means you're supposed to be you. Which, yeah, well. I, I guess that means Nyx is supposed to be weird. I, uh... Supposed to be is tricky. I guess everything must be the way it's supposed to be. Or supposed to be doesn't mean much. But I'll, I'll tell you this. This is, um... What's happened with you and what's happened with him are not dissimilar. Nyx has iterated previously, he's become new versions of himself, and now he has adopted a new identity. But... But I believe the, the man underneath, if man is actually an appropriate term here, it's always sort of what I would assume, but I'm a human, and we have a certain way of looking at things that doesn't always translate to other creatures and species and have you. But is that true? Are you human? There's another term for what I am, but we or I keep a lot of the characteristics of what we were. Um... It's fair to say. It's fair to say that we uh, we do change, and then I'm not. I'm certainly not a normal human anymore. Mm. Did you know there are less than a hundred thousand known Barai in the system? You can nods. Like I'm surprised there's even that many. It was on a quiz. There you go. What can I quit? Never mind. Um, <laughs> there's... There's something troubling you about weird, and I don't know exactly what that is. You can tell me if you like. But, uh... I think change is part of him. I, I don't think that's... It's it's hard to explain because it's hard for me to even think about because I'm just not the same kind of being as he is. 
but for him, change isn't okay. change isn't going from himself to someone else. It's it's who he is. She puts like her hand up again. He goes, "Okay, so I, th me, the old me, me, I felt we connected, and then we we went through things, and." connected more, you know, but not like, you know, and then we, we changed both of us, and now he changed again, and I, I guess I, I'm different too, than when we first met, and he's the reason I got to where I am, and Zig, but like, Nix was the one that got me off the station. And you ever just feel like you're you're part of somebody else, no? <sighs> yeah, that's something I can't relate to. Hmm. You should call Shakos. I think Alice just leaves. Everyone's trying to set me up for Shakos. And uh let me cut back to Zora, maybe. Um and uh what's the plan, Zora? Are you gonna hit the uh, make the ship go button or are you gonna put potentially run it by your crewmate who thinks just sailing in on engines is a better idea, even though you don't necessarily know this? Uh I mean it's a long way to sail out of engines. Uh, didn't we learn that it isn't that that, right? I, I, I horribly remember reading up on travel times. Um, oh, does anybody remember oh, yeah, offhand? Yeah, so, let's go back to the space travel part. Okay. Or was uh, it 290 something or something like that? Um, where are we here? So, let's see. Who remembers this? And Somebody that isn't Alex can get me the answer as bonus points to you. Because I feel like mostly we always just expect Alex to answer this part. Okay, so point about on a planet, land in orbit, reach a satellite, travel in system. Uh, it's just the plus two days thing, right? So traveling between two planets in the star system, so it's based on planet's relative system, blah 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 blah. So, yeah, so it's like an extra two days um, on top of whatever you're old. Okay, so I guess we should at least jump in semi close. Oh, uh -huh. it's your ship, buddy. Well, I mean, Finn's already set an all pilot anyway, honey. Oh no, he's set up the. like He's plotted the I course for I the drift. Just, but that was, the but that was for the drift, the remember? I'll press the button. So you do want to use the drift drive? Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. We'll put it earlier. We'll discuss that during drift. Then we'll drop it earlier if need be. Okay, so I wanted to take this point in time to remind you about what happens when you mess with the drift drive mid drift. They did it and it worked brilliantly. Let's do it. It worked fine. Uh, punch it, Tree. <laughs> 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 True cards. What the fuck is my like you plot a course drill, you know? So I'm gonna ask you again, just for the final hour. Um do you wanna use Finn's pre programmed jump to the coordinates with the drift drive? Yeah, yeah, I mean okay. in bad times it's everybody else's fault, right? They just left me back in pure after me seeing them. I mean, I feel like CC will blame you. Uh it's not my fault. Click uh, the button. Okay. He's. He's. I mean, a... Okay, what was the drift on your ship? It was the. Not. Not the Azure Flare, and not the. So it was the. Yeah. The engine signal booster, right? So what does that mm -hmm. do for us? What's the. Is that just the one. The one times? 
Let's have a quick nosy. Signal booster. Drift engines. A... No, the booster is a, a two. The booster is a two, buddy. That's pretty good, actually. Um, right, so do you want to roll a d6? Yeah, yeah, why not? One d6. Boop. Right, okay. So, two days to get there? Cool. Yeah. Just pop that into chat there. So, two days to chords of Key Volare. That's obviously how you spell chords. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, I guess. Lyco, you feel the ship go into drift space um, after the obviously conversation you and Alice had about perhaps not using drift to get there. Guess we're doing this. So uh, you're just shouting that to your room. Yeah, just <laughs> shouting that to the world. Um, anything you guys want to do in drift space? Fall over. No, um, I'll um, be. Uh, rest and rearm <laughs> and get ready to have a bad time, probably. That's not what you're implying. Yeah. I do not know what you're implying, buddy. How dare. How dare indeed. <coughs> Very. So, um, yeah. Right, I will uh, get rid of that for our chat screen. Right. I think you know what Michael could do with a rest. Right, okay. Not that I think you'll get much, but you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Lying partially closed on top of the bed, mm -hmm. staring at the ceiling. Yeah. Holding his, his, his sniper rifle close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's probably the, the leather pants, snake, like the topless, you know, scene, hair akimbo, <laughs> clutching the, the rifle. <laughs> That like Ly Lyco is basically current Namor. Mm -hmm. Clearly, Lyco is hot. So yeah, fine. <laughs> <laughs> I can do that. What is it? Fuckboy Dracula? Is it? Fuck yeah. Boy Dracula. Yeah. Uh huh. So um, yeah. Maybe you're just doing that thing where you're flexing your arms over your, you know, the back of your head, holding oh, the yeah. rifle. Clearly. Obviously, holding the rifle above your head. Clearly, a deep thought, as opposed to just thinking to yourself, hmm. Namor. So. Yeah, I think we just get the scene of everybody going about their business, and maybe Alice is in like the shuttle bay or something, just tinkering around, right? Um, anything else that uh, you just want to do? Any business to attend? To, any conversations to have? Or are we moving to the other guys? Or I can think of. Cool. Oh. I think we're just. Yeah, I think we're just. Cool. Right, we're going to shimmy our way over to. The results of the mind link. I feel like that is a that's just a thing I say far too often. Have we all darned? So again, in some of our cases, I'm going to ask this now, right? And this is for Alex and Callum. Who wants to go first? <laughs> Him. <laughs> can we can we initiative order it? Uh, Why well, is both roll a d20? It's a, such a typical number for Zig, though, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, no weird, no. <laughs> for it is a human number. Oh, sorry, there's something weird on my screen. Oh, I wonder what that could be. Could you perhaps? Alexa. <laughs> could could you perhaps roll the d20 instead of rolling a one? <laughs> I tried. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm on to you. Uh, uh, oh. So, so if we add those numbers together, you'd have to go simultaneously. Oh. No. <laughs> Fuck that. So yes, turns out that even the cosmos wants Zig to go first. <laughs> yeah. So, Zig, you feel a breeze, right? You okay. you feel a the sun on your face. Uh, your eyes are closed, obviously, uh, for obvious reasons. Uh, give me one second. That's been at least two. Thank you for that intermission music. I'm that back. Thank you. <laughs> I missed it, but I'll catch it at some point in the future. You went. Nice. 
How lovely. Um, so, regardless of all that, um, you you feel like the breeze, you feel the sun, uh-huh. and I assume you open your eyes. Uh, yeah, why not? I mean, no. no yeah. yeah, and you, you're standing on, like, a dirt path road. There seems to be a city off in the distance, maybe like an hour's walk away or something. And, uh, you know, behind you there's like horse-drawn carts getting pulled away from you. Okay. Yep, and people just going about their business. Um, I think um, maybe uh, uh, Ziggler's maybe if there's like a horse like a cart going past them, he might just stop like try and get the attention of the, the cart driving person or similar type being mm-hmm. operator of said cart yes oh. so the cart boy hello hey hey hello the man with, like the big straw hat says to you um i i seem to have uh, mis- misplaced myself. What? Where? Where am I? You've misplaced yourself. How did you manage that? Uh, one minute I was here, and the next minute I was there. Well, oh, we're—I mean, where? Where are you from? Um. I think he looks around and says. Somewhere a bit far from here, I think. Hmm. Um. Yeah, nods. It says, well, we're just south of the Viduran Forest. I'm on my way to a courthouse. Do you need a lift? Um, that would be very, very kind of you, you sir. Well, hop on. And he hops on. Yeah. And then the guy just, you know, snaps the reins and off the cart goes. Um, I think as he's like, maybe if he's like on like the back of the cart, he's like looking around to see if he can see signs of weird. No. Um, Obviously not. That's not how I run games. I think so, but he <laughs> would do that. That's what, that's what Zig would do. Mm-hmm. Um, and... He says, um, "Have you have you seen have you seen a, a, a big a big fellow with them, um, you know, forearms and I mean, quite unmissable, really." I can't say I have, but I, I mean, I mean no offense by this young sir, but I mean, I imagine many f- fellows look like big fellows when you're your size. You're not wrong. I try not to be. And he just chuckles away himself. Um, you have a name, sir? My name's Phil. Zig? No, no. Phil. No, I, I'm Zig. You're Phil. Oh, Phil. of course you are. And he just chuckles away to himself again. <laughs> You're more than welcome to sit up front with me. I think you'd like scurry to the front. That way you can see where you're going and not where you've been. And he chuckles away again. Mm, perhaps that's perhaps that's the best idea. I don't know about <laughs> best idea, but it's at least an idea. An idea is something I'm in desperate need of, I think. I mean, you're not carrying much, were you? Were you robbed? <laughs> you're obviously in like your fucking tinfoil armor or some shit, aren't you? So yeah. like, <laughs> I'm in my reflective armor, um, and it just goes, um, no, I just uh, travel light. Okay, just nods. That's respectable. Yeah. Um. Is there anything like odd about the place other than the fact obviously I wasn't there a second ago and it seems kind of 
Uh, it seems like I was gonna say yeah, it's oh, the whole yieldy. It feels like you're in the fantasy game part, maybe. Yeah, that's probably yeah. the the really weird you know, apart thing. Apart from the obvious. Yeah. So that's you know, like the world. Being, you know is this like a Skyrim. real place, <laughs> or is this like um, you know, like you know, a kind of fake, um, like a construct? Uh, uh, no, like it actually possibly, it maybe does feel weird to Zig because Zig is so used to artificial environments. Yeah. Because Zig has spent a lot of time on, from what our history channel <laughs> conversations were, was on the Burning Mother, right, in the, the domes, on Absalom, and then with the crew in the spaceship. So yeah. that's a lot of artificial environments, quite frankly. Or possibly horrible, sweaty, intestine type corridors of yeah, vaults. We need to yeah. Get into that though. <laughs> No, ideally we need to get out of that, yeah. So, um, imagine Zig was still in the vault. No, I'm kidding. So anyway... Uh, I've thought that a few times, I was like... But yeah, so you've got the... As I said, yeah, it's, it, maybe it's weird because it's been so long since you've been... Like... On a planet with a nice atmosphere, I guess? Yeah. Um, keep in mind, you were all self-contained on... Um, Akaton for the most part, right? Because you went through the radiation like maze to get to um, Ramasethu and in Daza. Well, we know what happened in Daza. Um, I think he goes. Is there a? Is there a, 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 a medical um, practitioner in, in where where we're headed? Are you injured? I feel a bit woozy. Have you eaten? Uh, I suppose probably. No, maybe no. He says, "Well, here, hold on to these," and he just like pushes the reins into your hands and like leans over the back of the, uh, like the kind of bench that's at the front of the cart, and uh, like rummages in some of the kind of like because it's quite a, a stacked cart, and. Mm -hmm. uh, he kind of rummages around and pulls out some kind of like, I don't know, some kind of sweet, almost citrusy smelling fruit. Okay. He hands that to you okay. and takes the reins back. Zig was very, like, awkwardly holding the reins. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess Zig would kind of sniff it and see if it's, you know, poisonous brain food. Well, as I told you, poison rose don't exist anymore, so we don't have to worry about them. <laughs> <laughs> and, um,. Maybe we just take a bite out of it. If it didn't smell awful. You know, yeah, it and it just something. just tastes like some kind of citrusy fruit. I'm not going to get into it. It's not that <laughs> yeah, important. That's fine. That's fine. Um, just looking for clues. Tastes juicy. There you go. Ooh. Fruity mm. and juicy. Mm, it's quite um, very, very fruity juice, this. Mm. Can't have you passed now, now before we get to Cortos. Would that name ring a bell to Zig at all, or is that completely... No, you have no idea what no. you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I didn't think so. Maybe it's the Vidurian, like, or Vidurian forest, or anything like yeah. that. Like, no, none of that makes any sense. The fact that you no, can understand each other is at least a bonus, right? Yeah, um, I think... And the fact that he hasn't reacted that you're like a three-foot, four-foot rat. Yeah, I mean... Covered in tinfoil. I think used to people just, like, accepting that he exists, so, because, you know, we live in a very diverse solar system. Mm -hmm. Um, I think they would be like, so, where, what, um... planet are we on? Where, where, where are we? What is, what is the, what is here? Forgive me, young sir, but your words are a bit, you know, foreign. Um, what planet? Ah, yes. Um, what? Um, he does like a like a glow <laughs> motion with his hands, like, and then maybe like he has like one hand and like a fist, and then like the other hand is like a little spaceship going. He just chuckles away. He shakes his head and goes, "That's them sugars going to your head. Don't worry about it." If you get hungry again, let me know. 
and just like laughs um, to himself because he obviously doesn't understand, right? Oh yeah, yeah. That's, I just wanted to check that he doesn't understand. Mm -hmm. um, let me just read this thing. <laughs> Mind link. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. This is what I mean by planet boom. We've got to go deeper. Where is it? Okay, um... No, I don't think it's on there. It doesn't matter. Um, I was gonna say, can I see the stars? Is it, or is it too, too bright? Nah, it's like, you know, early afternoon or some shit. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I guess, like, how far out from the the town slash city place we're headed to, are we? I... By the looks of it. You have no idea, I, to be honest. Like, you're going away from the city oh, you could see. That, that's yeah. the place. Okay. As if, it's almost okay. like this is where that guy's travelled from. And that looked like right. it was a, okay. roughly an hour away. Um, yeah, so I think maybe you could point back and go, where, where was... Um, What's that place like? Okay, like he leans back and he says, Oh, the city? Um, yeah, it's, you know, like any other city, I guess. You know, full of people. Too many people, if you ask me. But, you know, it's why I live in the countryside. What um, what do you do in the city then? Do you oh me, I tend to stay out of it. See, I just trade, you know, farmer by nature, you know. Nods. At you. Mm. Yourself, young sir. Venom came lie on the spot, please. Please do. <laughs> what was that? Sorry. Like, just come up with a terrible lie about something you would think would exist in, like, a really rural planet. Um, like, oh yes, I'm a cow inspector. Don't use that one, that one's bad. No. Or do you um, use that one? No, I, I think he would just say, um, I, uh... Bovine inspector. <laughs> Federal I bovine am, inspector. I... I clean the, the Cats! Of worship. Say again, sorry, you clean the what? I clean the places of worship, you know. Alright, can you roll a bluff? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure I can. I think my bluff's pretty good. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. That was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I do not have a good bluff. I think it's terrible because you told me it was a lie. Um, <laughs> 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 thus <laughs> confirming. <laughs> Oh dear. And he goes, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, uh, I, I clean, I clean places of worship. Okay, I just nod. He just stares at him, eye, eyes wide. He just, um, he kind of nods. And he says, Well, um, you know, your business is your own. Don't mind me. But, um, kind of points, like, Kind of roughly in the direction of the city. And he's like, "Well, Drum is that way. That's where the dwarves are, and uh, I live over that way. That's where my farm is, and you know, some there's a couple of villages. We don't have names. We're ju we're just places. Um, yeah. Um, how far is it to where you you stay, sir? Um, but." By a day, back that way. Okay, again, points back to like, you know, if the city behind you was twelve o'clock, it'd be pointing to like, you know, mm -hmm. ten o'clock or some shit. Is that on quite a, a windy road, or is it is it fairly straight to there? Oh, it's um, not not many roads go to Rusty, unfortunately. Um, as I said, I'm I'm on my way to Cortos to to sell my. Sell my fruit, the be you get the best uh, best prices in Kortos because they can't grow that. 
that you know it kind of nods to like the remnants of the fruit you're eating. And they can't grow that there, not on the island. Okay. Um. I I might I might try and make my own way there. I I've left some some things, and Zig is gonna run like run off the back of that. Wait. Zig's gonna check to see if he can pay him first, like give him like a bit of something or other. Um, God. A gun. <laughs> that's, a, that's a bad idea. Uh, what about? Uh, no, I don't really have anything. All my flares are in there. Uh, all your oh. Uh, no, they're not. They're like on. Like I say, probably. they're on verses, and all they're your on. money's digital. Yeah. Um, I think you would say, uh, sorry, 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 Phil, I'll, I'll, I might see you soon, and then he, like, Oh, be, be careful now, like, he does his best to sound like, whoa, the horse is down, as, like, you know, you start to, like, make ways to just jump off the side of the cart. Yeah, and then he's going to enter his starlight form. Okay, so he's got really, really bright, so, like, yeah, Phil just shields his eyes. Yep, and he's going to fly there. Okay. I don't, I don't yeah, he's going to fly. Do you want to paste the flight spell? Uh, sure. Okay. Let's see. What do we have? Okay, fly speed of 60. Average maneuvering. Land the spells effects. Takes no more concentrating the walking, which is good. Normally. Can charge but not run. Carry loft, bulk, blah blah blah. Target fight acrobatics, flying, keep around. Blah blah blah. And the spell lasts for ten minutes. Cool. And you just can uh, fly in starlight form because how long does your starlight form last for? Uh, I'm just gonna get that. Or oh. Yeah, well in starlight form. It's, it's stupid oh, wrong. Just because it says as per flight on that, so I'm assuming that yeah. means it will still include the 10 minute limitation. But I want to know how your starlight form works, because if. Can that be pasted in, what? in fact? Because um. I'm assuming if you were like 60 feet up in the air or whatever, or 120 feet up in the air, and you started to fall, you could just come out of it and go back into it. Um. I assume. Uh, but we'll. Yeah, so. Hold on, I'm actually going to have to paste it in because it's not a buggy thing and I never actually put it into the character sheet. Shocking. No. Um, yeah, I can do that. Right. Oh, see if that was roughly it. No, oh, man. Right, okay, so. So it's uh, a minute per mystic level. Okay. Per day, and I can do it in one minute increments. Right, so how many is your um So it's ten minutes a day in one minute increments, I believe. Right, so basically you can fly for ten minutes for sixty feet per six seconds, right? Yeah. Okay. Sixty feet per six seconds for ten minutes. How many feet can you travel? At least sixty. Okay, 60 feet yeah. times, so that's per 6 seconds, right? So, how many blocks of 6 seconds are in that's 10 feet? Okay, that's, that's reasonable, right? 6,000 feet. That's reasonable. So, the only thing is though, you probably can't get to either where he roughly indicated, or where he's going. No, I'm heading back to the... That's what I mean, like, roughly indicated... Yeah. yeah, so you could probably get there. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I just didn't want to say... Right, so I'm off by. So, so you can go, like, a mile in a bit. Yeah. Well, the thing is, that's... Uh, so the 60 feet is for your movement, but then you could use your action to dash. No, because you can't run. Yeah. Oh. As per flight. Run, so... Yeah. It's as fast as running. Can... How's the atmosphere in this planet? 
So it says in flight, where is it? It did say that you couldn't run, I'm sure. I feel like I read that. Just because 10 minutes per mile doesn't seem very... Yeah, it's, it's not super fast. Yeah, but it is if, it, if, it, if it's you going straight up that distance, which not As many people the, can do. Uh, cool flies is, 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 is. The target can charge but not run, and it can't carry more than its weight, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so okay. sadly they've got around the um, moving four times here. <laughs> Which is weird, you know, but like, yeah. So, yeah, you can pretty much just like in starlight form your way a good chunk of the distance there, right? And I don't think um, the city's, what, that far away, really? Like I said, it's about, it looks like it's about an hour away, right? Mm -hmm. um, and that would have been walking. So, yeah, you can get a good chunk of the way there. So, aye, we can just say that you, you land somewhere between 30 and 20 minutes away from the city, I feel. Yeah. And then you just kind of plod on over. Mm hmm. Yeah. So you just land as a glowing rat thing. Yeah. Yeah. People give you a dis. His eyes are like blazing big. white as well. It's like. Yeah. And it sort of like fades off as he's walking very dramatically. And um, people just give you a wide berth, and obviously there's traffic coming in and out of the city a lot more than they. You know, now that you're closer to it, it's a lot more um, metropolitan, I guess. Metropolitan. Yeah. Metropolitan, probably. Yeah. Metropolin. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's, I mean, how many dwarfs is Zygmet, right? Um, none, probably, actually. Like, one? Unless, and he uh, just decided to, well, one. The guy that helped you set up, um... Oh, yes. Carhol was a dwarf. I, won't, I don't remember his name, but I remember he was a dwarf. Um, I guess maybe one, unless there was, like, a dwarf guy who showed up at, when he was... Who knows such things? I feel like, you know, they do exist in the galaxy. Um, but yeah, this is like probably the most dwarf you've ever seen ever. This is in fact a whole yeah. city of them. Zig's kind of like awestruck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and people like regard you, but like politely just don't acknowledge you, right? Mm -hmm. They've got, you know, busy city things to do. I think Zig's going to wander and look for some form of temple or something. And if he happens upon a noodle stand, he's going to stop from moving. <laughs> oh dear. Um, I don't know. Why don't you just roll a d20 and we'll see if you get a noodle stand, right? Let's say a 15 or higher. No, no noodle stand. Sadly not, but at least we gave it a chance. <laughs> But yeah, so you wander around. Uh, let's see. Let me have a. I need to count something just now. Imagine that maths. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. D twenty roll, please, Zig. Sure thing. Badoof! That made good rolls out. So, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's good. Perfect. Um, yeah, so, you do, you find a temple, right? And can you roll culture? Culture! Yeah, perfect. Um, so, you see a symbol that you have seen in you can you can kind of really tell me exactly why you know this right but a lot of it might in part be due to Lyco um because I'm sure Lyco had a uh, feelings towards this god at one point which was Desna um because I feel like we discussed yes that's it, yeah, yeah. yep um so yeah you see like a temple to Desna Desna being the kindly song of the spheres uh, presides over dreams, luck, stars, and travellers. Mm -hmm. mm. Might be quite apt, actually. Mm. Um, you rolled it, by the way, buddy. Travellers. <laughs> um, I think Zig would just kind of go
go well either in or up to it, um, depending if he's alive in or not. Oh yeah, doors are open. Yep, doors look like big butterfly wings. Oh yeah, and he casts radiate. No, um, <laughs> as opposed to yeah, irradiate. <laughs> It's my new one. No, it's not. Oh. Um, Zig, Zig, uh, yeah, he walks in and he just kind of, I guess, looks around. Maybe looks for someone of, I don't want to say importance, but um, uh, an either like a, a, a follower or a, a leader of the this particular temple. Hey, roll a twenty. Find yourself. Oof. Oof. So you see a dark elf with a very large, like kind of very ornate looking mask over their face. That's like a big butterfly, kind of like wings coming off their face. And they kind of like the wings kind of sweep back. And there's loads of kind of like violet hair that comes down behind it. Okay, I think. Uh Clearly, like some kind of priestess at the place. Yeah, does she look busy? Uh, she's maybe just talking to a couple of people that are like, you know, there. Um, I think um, Zig would, you know, like, you know, stand there, like obviously, like in eye shot, um, and politely kind of wait until her chats with. Um, yeah, and I think like she she like notices that you're kind of just standing there, you know, a, a newcomer yeah. to the church, as it were, and. Um, she wanders over, and she says, "Blessings of the spheres upon you." She like narrows her eyes in the mask and kind of looks at you. And to you, and he kind of like half bows, nods, and she kind of like you know shakes her hand in front of you and says, "There is no need for such formalities here. Desna has brought you to me. How can I help?" I think I may have travelled a bit far this time. I'm uh, not where I should be. That might be wrong. Uh, I'm not where I was. Or any of us. She kind of smiles. I think they could kind of like awkwardly smile back and go, I suppose, I suppose not. Should you be? Is the past so important to where you are going? Uh, it might not be the past I'm worried about. Usually yeah. people worry about where they're going because of their past. So, should I be worried about your past as well? She kind of smiles. I'm worried about my past because of where I am. Are you in danger? And, like our twins are tiny bit more serious now, like a bit more caring almost. It's kind of moved from welcome to are you in trouble? <laughs> yeah. I think he just kind of looks at her, maybe like kind of takes in her gaze a little bit, and um, he says, "I really, I don't know anymore. I feel like I've been." been Pressing imminent danger for so long that now that I don't feel that now is almost concerning. That would be very concerning. Come with me. Let's have a seat in inside. And she kind of like smiles and uh, kind of gestures kind of openly back towards like you know some kind of seating mm -hmm. area. Yeah, um, I think he, he he looks around and then just follows her. And uh, well, she's motioned towards seats, so she's kind of told you basically to go oh, okay, sit well, in the seats. Okay, well, I think yeah. he'll like have a like yeah. a quick like scan around of like you know maybe just taking in like some of the people who are in and then like head over to the seats. Yeah, and um, she goes over and talks to, like one of the other kind of like you know almost priestess type attendants, and uh, that other person leaves and then. She comes and sits with you. 
and she says, I have sent one of the priestesses to go get us some some water and something to eat. You seem quite shaken, in fact. Mm. Well, I seem to I seem to have a, a habit of um disappearing and appearing in strange places. Like where 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 are we? Where is here? Where is here? Mm. Where where do you think you are? Um I think he kind of closes his eyes and crumples it, like scrunches his nose up and um says I should be on the ship. You're a sailor. I'm a hmm. Hmm. Not not quite, not like a not like a, a boat. I'm like a you know, a star vessel. Kind of like, tells her head. Okay. A star vessel. She smiles. Are you from Kortos? Uh, no, uh, I'm... I think he, he maybe like looks around and like, you know what Lord voice says? <laughs> Make him look like a crazy man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm... I think you'll just say I'm from I'm from the Burning Mother. She looks kind of concerned at that, and she goes, "The Burning Mother. You, um, forgive me. Um, I th and she looks a bit like you know, awkward, right?" And then, um, like, the awkwardness is interrupted by, like, the, the other attendant appearing with, like, you know, like a fancy jug of, like, water um, on, like, a silver tray thing. And then some, like, you know, bread that's sat down. And then the priestess kind of, like, nods and leaves. And then uh, she says, Please, allow me. And she, like, leans in and pours two cups of water and then, like, cracks the bread. Um, and then, like, slides the the tray with the bread over to you and lifts one of the cups for herself and sits it like on the palm of one of her hands as she holds it with the other, like on her lap and she leans back and she says I'm not familiar with this burning mother um, do you mean the dawn flower? No question, would Zig No That sounds like a roll uh, general Four. culture again. Yeah. Oh god damn it. Boom. Uh, the Dunflower is a name for Sarenry. Yes. Um I knew it was I knew it was something to do with um, solar goddesses or something. Mm. Um and I think he says uh, I am um Hmm. Now, if he says yes, technically he's lying. <laughs> because he's not. But at the same time, like, it's kind of wish, uh, where his temple is kind of, what his temple's kind of based on. So, I guess he'll say, um, When, what? When, when, when is, when are we? When are we? When, yes. Um, she kind of smiles at you because, forgive me, that's a very, um, bizarre question to be asked. I'm not often asked such things as a worry. priestess. It's quite bizarre asking it myself. I am. Um, I will speak with one of my priestesses to get you the precise date. One moment. And, uh, please, 
take comfort here. And uh, she like stands up and like goes off to go consult some perhaps a book with a date in it that Ryan's flicking through now um, to see if he can get you a date. Um, because, you know, placeholder date, you know. asking um, me for fucking dates. <laughs> sorry. How did the tides work? Uh, they just do. Nobody really questions it. Uh, um, okay. yeah. Yeah. Have I noticed any multiple suns or anything? Am I in a different solar system? I mean, no. It doesn't look okay. that way. I mean, you've, you've noticed one sun, based on your uh, your emotions, and you may have been the second sun for a brief moment, you know, <laughs> for ten minutes or so, you could say. Um, um. So, I feel like it's some year, right, it's probably Gosran uh, for the month, and probably Oath Day. It's the day of the week. <laughs> so there you go. Okay. Um. Or it's wheel day. There we go. Wheel, as in W E A L day. Wheel day of God's run. Okay, I think that's what she comes back and tells you. Because I think we'll look at her dates. And just maybe his eye would twitch a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um, I I am going to assume he is not. No. <laughs> no well idea. Well-versed in, in, in dating <laughs> of this sort. <laughs> no. Um, or any sort. Even this is true. And he goes, ah, okay. Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to work my way around this so I don't mind link with her. This is my, this is my... my this partner. is how an addict speaks. <laughs> <laughs> also, the boss is like the thing of like, if this is just part of my mind link, I don't want a mind link in a mind link, because that will just get Oh, me. yeah, because then you do the film I've never seen. <laughs> Zig, Zig pulls out that, that spinning top. Jurassic spinning Park. Spinning. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, dear. I've seen Jurassic um, Park, I'm lying. Yeah, he just looks at her and goes, hmm, um... Okay, uh... What do you know of... Uh, what world is this? What world is this? My, have world. you travelled far? I think Zig sighs and goes... Uh, and he, like, rubs his eyes and goes... Um, uh, this world is... Galarian. I think Zig, like... Oh my god! He goes, I see. Were you not expecting it to be? Well, funny thing that, huh, um... You hear, like, arguing from, like, two kids in, like, the distance of the room as well. Like, so the place isn't, like, this isn't an empty church or anything, right? There are still people, like, yeah, worshipping yeah. and whatnot here and going about, and the other attendants are, like, you know, dealing with them. And you can hear, like, two kids arguing in the corner. Just for atmosphere, obviously. Yeah. Not foreshadowing. Um, uh-huh, uh-huh. And he, he goes, and, um, What? Wait, hold on. Right, right. I, I am not going to destroy this planet. This is... I'm, I'm not doing that. Um, but I was tempted to destroy the planet. Not that I can. I was going to say, yeah, like, what, what level 10 character has the ability to destroy a planet? I'll mind link with the planet. I'll mind link with the planet. Um, Zig's skin turns blue, thing. his hair turns green, he puts on his red hot pants. Um, Captain Planet. He looks at the, at the woman and says, um, So, I take it you know nothing of drift travel. She kind of looks at you and kind of like smiles and says, I'm afraid not. I could hazard a guess if you like, but I don't think I would uh, be correct. 
Something to do with your star vessel. Just smiles. Hmm. Um. Where or when? Hmm. I'm from. Galeria is. Um. Gone. Gone. It doesn't. It doesn't. Um. Exist anymore. She looks like. You know, like somebody that's maybe taking you a tiny bit more seriously than she was before, right? Um, like maybe she was just making sure you were comfortable and pleasant, you know, as opposed to now where she's like, this is slightly disturbing. Don't don't mistake me for a, 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 a doomsaying prophet. Um, this, this could be just, this could be the Fixed? Did they fix it? I, um, and he's like kind of muttering to himself now, trying to like think of what. Um, weird yeah, and like, I think like they... while you're having that like that moment to yourself as well, like the two kids like run up to the priestess, and they're like you know two dark elf kids as well, and uh, they're in like you know the equivalent of like junior priestess robes, right? Um, obviously, I say that like as if that would assume an image that comes to mind. But yeah, yeah, yes, no, I've, I've that, yeah. yeah, and they both run up and they're like, "Mom, you know, she stole my doll." And they, uh, oh god, the are they both girls? And the priestess turns and she goes, "Girls, I'm, <laughs> no. I'm with someone at the moment. Please, oh no, settle your oh, differences." God. And then they. Uh, I think, they um, both run off, still arguing with each other. I think they kind of stares off and just maybe under his breath goes. Are you trying to say I that so that you are you are you trying to well Lanteral and Thanida with the sisters? Thanida. Yes. Yeah. Are you trying to say this to see if the priestess reacts in some way? Um, possibly. I mean, yes, that's exactly what <laughs> <laughs> Right, because that's something <laughs> I can what work with. <laughs> and, um... Yeah, the priestess kind of, like, narrows around and she goes, You know the name of my children? I mean... If they're your children, then... then Must be. Ooh, I've gone pretty far back. You claim to be from. What comes next? I am from what comes after that. Of course. Even I don't know what comes next. Hmm. No one does. She's like quite in deep thought about that phrase, right? Um, and she says, "There's wisdom in that, but perhaps it's beyond me at the moment." Um, have you come to tell me ill of my children? Should I worry? No, you don't need to worry. Just smiles. I have met them both. I see. They, they grow to be strong. This is reassuring to know. I was told it was a bad omen to name them after my grandmother and her sister. Oh god, now I don't know when I am. <laughs> oh no, why? Um, wait, I don't think, I, I think Zig keeps that, like, internal screaming to himself. Don't worry, so do I. Um, and he goes, oh, and could you tell me about your, um, their grand parentals? 
whatever the great grand, whatever it was. That would be their great grand and her. Their great grand, grand yeah. yeah. Um, and what would you like to know? What happens? He kind of blinks and kind of like sits up, like kind of shot, like, what happens? And then the entire place starts to shake violently, like an earthquake. Oh mm-hmm. Like to the point where like she stands up and like, you know, tries to like, you know, shelter people and parts of the temple start coming down and yeah, it's pretty violent. I yep. think Zig's going to do the classic, um, you know, get people outside type thing. Um, Mm-hmm. Yeah, and just like you know, s- try to start like helping helping people out and like rush them out because you know, if people are outside, the temple's less likely to fall on top of them. Yeah, so like between uh, all the priestesses and uh, the people inside, and you know, the slightly more um, <laughs> helpful, I say loosely, members of the uh, congregation, I uh, all manage to like flock over the outside and. As you get outside, you can see like you know massive cracks appearing, like through the city buildings cl- collapsing. Obviously, there's a child standing in the middle of the road just screaming to the sky. Um, some kind of doll in its hand, and uh, yeah, like it, you could say, it's like the planet was cracking apart. Yeah, and I think. Everything stops moving. Except you, buddy. Okay. Zig's going to... I guess, walk around and, like, th- is there, like, any big, like, cracks on the ground that he can... Massive. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think Zig would kind of, like... <laughs> Just yeet himself in. I'm done Just with the game. I'm <laughs> done with it. Am I... But yeah. Is it... So, um, um, no, he would like kind of look down on the cracks and kind of stare. So I think yeah, like maybe you walk past like the two girls that obviously you're like, my God, is this the night in Lanterel? And you can see like one of them's like shielding the other one as they're both like looking terrified. And uh, you walk past them being frozen, and you head over to the edge. Yeah. Mm. What you doing, buddy? Um, I'm, oh man, no, that's a bad idea. <laughs> Mind link with the planet. Um, I might just recommend against that, given everything yeah. that Zig's been through in his life. Um, I guess I, I want to. What I want to know is kind of discern what's causing it. So, like, is it like a magical thing? So maybe like a detect magic, I guess. Uh, sure. Let's see if there's like some sort of like. If it's a magical thing that's causing the plant to crack, or if it's like a natural occurrence, or yeah. something awful. Uh, yeah, so you do that, and it is like the worst headache you've ever had meets the crushing depths of pressure from the bottom of an ocean, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. You have that. Uh, you also can't close off your senses now. So it's just like constant, constant. The floodgates are open. Yeah, and I feel like oh god was viable to that, and uh, all of it immediately like like the whining of like you know af- the after effects of like a flashbang going off or whatever. All of that like seems to be like pulled like a vacuum into like a single point that you can see through the cracks of the you know the plates of the the planet, and then pop. And it's gone, and like all the pressure and static and headacheiness is gone, and um, you hear a voice from behind you say, "Where did you come from?" And um, Zig turns around, and like, there's like something there. You're not quite sure what, right? There's like some kind of weird entity of some kind. It's hard to make out. It just seems to be like. Slightly altering space as you're looking at it, uh-huh. right? Yeah. Um, I think Zig would look at it and um, just say, We might not be the 
right question. I think like the the form like shifts and warps into a familiar figure, and Deadzo fourteen steps out. I think mm. Zig like um, definitely like maybe like in like Zig inside Zig kind of curls up in a ball and rolls away. Mm. Um, so That's... Zig feels like very small, very like thingy goes. Uh, uh, you, you're. For everyone, How? that's what Edzo 14 looks like. I think he can maybe like kind of reaches that hand and just kind of maybe he's like clutching at the the amulet as well, kind of just staring at it, kind of like okay, lost for words. Mm -hmm. um, and a uh, this form was familiar to you. Interaction should be. More suitable. Hello. So you are not. You're not her. No. I am before. You are before. This form doesn't exist yet. Am I correct? This must be confusing for you. You are so used to things being simple. <laughs> Try me. And I am. I think like Edzo laughs, right? And it is the exact laugh that like Zig remembers that one time he ever made her laugh, right? Yeah. Um, I think maybe Zig kind of like. It's, it's like avoiding eye contact, um, and maybe kind of just like kind of more like talking almost side on now, um, mm. um, more of like a diagonal, like facing away from them because I think there is that that bit of guilt in Sig's mind. That, yeah. Of the of the whole affair. Needless to say, he's uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. It says, you are not frozen like the others. I am not. No. What are you? What am I? Sometimes I, I don't even know anymore. <sighs> this would be unhelpful. I think he turns to, to look at the Etzel mm -hmm. and um, just kind of like stands up kind of straightish and just says I am Zig Hello Zig You are an anomaly You were not accounted for This is very interesting Accounted? Yes, accounted for. Who was accounted for? Everyone else. So am I not supposed to be here? No. Unless you are, in which case my calculations were incorrect. But I doubt this. I'll have to consult the others. What others? My others. We. Okay. Are you consulting them now, or...? 
no. or in the past. Unfortunately, they are not with me. Where, where are the others? This I do oh, not when know. Are the others? I am before. Is there an after? I think Edzo smiles. Forgive me. Introductions for things so small are so important. I have overlooked this. I am third. I am before. And then we cut to weird. You can certainly try. I definitely will try. I'll do what I can. Yep. Uh, yes, can you roll culture? No. Uh, God. Uh, yes, I just need to find my sheet. No problem. It's desktop, man. Culture, 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 culture. Nice. Uh, you seem to be standing on Octurn. This is the egg, isn't it? Oh. Octurn is the one Octurn's the, the stranger, the one at stranger. the very yeah. end. Yep, the stranger, yep. The one that people aren't entirely sure what it is. The one that's super, super violent just now. Uh, it's an angry, yep. angry planet. Yep. Yep. It's up to like a red face of angry on our angryometer. <laughs> oh. And uh, yeah. So you seem to be standing there. Yep. And yeah. You can see Query. They're standing with like his hands and his waistcoat. Uh, hello, Query. Hello, weird. Kind of like pulls one. one hand out of his pocket and kind of like rubs it through his hair. It's like, no, no, my turn. Why are you here? I want to talk to you. Good. Here we are. He looks around. Right? Yeah. Is this mine or yours? How are we supposed to know? Kind of scratches it like his platinum stubble. Um... Is this your Zig's fault or my Zig's fault? Your Zig does it too, does he? Never stops. Well, didn't stop. I thought yours was destroyed. That's why he corrected himself. Oh, sorry. That was a very killed thing. No. You know. Yeah, so he does look a bit melancholy when he corrects himself, right? I thought your dimension was destroyed. Was it not? It was, yes. But, kind of shrugs. Where is this then? I'm going to assume it's ours. Mine. <laughs> ours. Um, yes. Yours. Uh. I didn't think we could be in the same place at the same time. I thought that would be a bit violent, you know? Is that why you always drag us to sideways places? No, that implies I had any control over that. You just found your way through there and I happened to be able to be there when you were there. But you always seem so prepared. Thank you. It's an art form. Okay, it's you, at you. <laughs> you had no control over any of that that was going on. I wouldn't say that. It might be true, but I wouldn't say that. Uh. And you just hear a voice break the weird rumblings of the thunder around you. And a uh, good, you are both here. And then in steps, you know, I don't know, pick a number between one and five for me, Alex. Two. Cool. 
next two steps in and uh, it says before excitement is attained I am not next to this is merely a representation of a form you are both familiar with okay which one are you first or third <laughs> next two smiles it says I see you have met my and he kind of like motions to himself, like with one hand out first, then the other hand out second. It says, I am first, and this is elsewhere. And that's where the, the credits roll. Aww. So we're getting to the point where Ryan just builds the game up so far till he has an aneurysm. Yeah. Uh, that's what. That sounds about right. Yeah. So, uh, what would you like to call this session? That's what I've got so far. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, I had an idea, but I've forgotten it. So. Oh, no. Um, I had one. Um, well, oh. something that came up during Lyco and Alice's chats, and I just can't remember what that was. Hmm. So. Upon review, we had planning stuff going there. Elsewhere is not a bad name. Elsewhere to be fair, yeah. Fun, we could even you could even have elsewhere else when if you really wanted, um, since you know that covers Zig. Also, I I'm okay with elsewhere. It's up to you if you just want to put in some suggestions. Anything from the colonnier? Um, I really don't have anything. I'm afraid. Thoroughly disappointed in you. Thoroughly and possibly even deeply. That'll do as a session title, why not? Oh, thoroughly, possibly thoroughly even deeply. Possibly even deeply, yeah. <laughs> That's what we said. Now that'll just be the art book we release about this game. <laughs> I'll be your zig, I'll be your weird <laughs> fantasy. Baby, when you call me, you can call me Al. Okay, so. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I forgot. <laughs> oh, oh. I'm glad someone enjoyed it. Uh. Uh, this is a very long-winded title, and that's a. Let me edit that so it actually says second instead of send. There you go. Uh, I really am going to just go for elsewhere. I like that. But you just can all, just can all vote for whatever you wish. Elsewhere. I don't remember when I first encountered that, but I have encountered elsewhere used in books quite a lot over the years. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if it started off as ironic or if it just ended up there. Do you have a particular preference here, uh, Colin? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> okay, so the grudge is what I'm hearing. Uh, I can't do it at the moment. My voice isn't working. Uh, I like your thing. Does it too? I think that's 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 funny. <laughs> I like funny things, and it's also, you know. Gets the curiosity going. People go, Ooh, what's Zig done this time? <laughs> Elsewhere. That's Sad, it. Sadly, that's TM. <laughs> yeah, but we could get all those accidental searches. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't Elsewhere the name of the next one? Or that, uh, is that not confirmed the name yet? of one of the um, online expansions. Right, okay, uh, that's maybe I what I'm confusing. Yeah. I don't think it's been confirmed yet. It was a theory. Yeah, I think it's the I think it's the theory and okay. then the subsequent online expansion that I'm getting confused with, but I always thought elsewhere was a really damn cool pl and also a cheeky name because it's what I would have called somewhere, right? Um so I always appreciated that in Elder Scrolls. Uh yeah, I think we'll go with elsewhere uh, then. Um since that seems to be the It's got three as opposed to two, so there we have it. We've got that. There we go. We've named it. Good. Good job, guys. Let's look at goals. Any goals done? 
Yep. Cool. What did you get? Gone. Well, uh, I got out the negative zone. Technically, he did. I mean, yeah. Did Did you? Did you? I am not. I'm now elsewhere. I mean. <laughs> so. And so. If he's still in the negative zone. Which means I'm still in the negative zone, which means I find a way to navigate the negative zone. If you hey. my mind. we're the same as the dark. So let's let's look at this, right? Let's Ow. look at this, right? And we'll we'll look at this from a a goals completion type way, right? So establish self sustaining mm -hmm. revenue. No. No. Get out of the negative zone. You know you mind linked with Zig. Yep. Right? And what happens after the aftermath of mind linking with Zig normally? Uh, dead women. Right? So, because of that, how much do they weigh these, uh, these dead women? I don't know. Zig, how big is your suitcase? <laughs> Um, and how much does it I weigh? Know, like it's, uh, my big badges are pretty big. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay, rewind back to I get, just Google that quickly. get out of the negative zone. <laughs> Do you know what, right? I'll give you get out of the negative zone purely based on nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Thank Generosity. You. Um, no, it's just like based on what I guess weird knows. Yeah, that, that does make sense, right? He has achieved his goals. I'm just going to now use that formula for all my goals. Um, as long as I believe it's done. Yes, um, you know, if, 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 what's the quote? If, if people believe a thing to be real, it is real in its effects. Hmm. Well, the placebo thing. Well, it's, it's not quite that. It's more like it, it was more in regard to beliefs and things. So that if some if people believe. But like psychosomatic in a way? It's more like it shapes people's actions regardless. Of, so, for instance, like religion, right? It doesn't really matter whether or not it's true people who believe it are still going to you know, try and follow their version of it um, so that you go to church every Sunday and you know, you do your blah right, blah But then blah, like, realistically, oh. right, like, realistically a lot of that could also be attributed to our understanding of science thus far, so let's not get into that right now I and mean, let's look at goals So, goal replacement that I see has already happened, nicely done So, Get us to the sun. Can you please define us? Uh, weird, weird, and weird, I think. A weird next, next, and next. You mean weird query and next to that isn't next to? Yeah. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, weird query and epoch. There we go. Uh, the, uh, where are we here? So, retrieve Ivan. It's not happened yet. Uh, are we going to keep established self-sustaining and retrieve Ivan as ongoings, or are we replacing them? Um, I think we'll leave retrieve mm -hmm. Ivan for now. Mm -hmm. Established self-sustaining revenue might be... Oh, excuse me. I don't know if that's going to be practicable, you know, in the moment. Uh, only replace it if you've got something to replace it with, obviously, and obviously we've yeah. got get the steward until I assume it's still an ongoing for you, so I don't see you wanting to yeah. change that unless I am no, somehow shook really by your uh, revelations. And uh, Zig. Mm. Goal 5. No. Goal 5, which is currently definitely not. It's not been completed, no. nope. It's not been completed. Um, or progressed. So are you gonna? Maybe I should just come fourth. <laughs> but what is fourth? Zig. <laughs> there we go. Goal complete. There we go. We add that to the list. <laughs> it's the Thomas theorem I was thinking about. Right. Okay. Many kind of situations is real. They are real in their consequences. Okay. Is that like where where the phrase doubting Thomas also comes from as an inverse then? No, that that's the Bible. <laughs> I see, okay. Because Thomas was the one that asked for proof. Right, okay. It always comes back to the Bible, doesn't it? Apparently so. Judeo, because she talks shit that we're in. But speaking of Zig's goals. Speaking of Zig's goals. Um, are, we, are we keeping goal 5 or are we? I system. mean, I can't think of anything to replace it with, but at the same time, it's like, hmm. Mm. 
And remember, these will be the goals for next session as well. No. Yep. Um. And how long am I likely to spend with them? <laughs> how long? Air quotes. <laughs> what is time? What is time? That just be my goal. What is time? No. I feel like you've maybe tried that one before. Uh, yeah. Um. Any suggestions for him, guys? Figure out why Galarian broke. It's not you, you know Ignite okay. the core of Galarian and bring this world into your own grasp as the new sun. <laughs> uh, I want Take your I'm place as the core of Galarian. No. I will be new Galarian. Um, become the egg. No. How much um, space tape does the have on him currently? Could tape the Galarian back together. Uh, I'm very, very interested in um, Lantrails and Thanida's um, grand parentals. Mm. And why it's a bad omen um, <laughs> to name them after them. Mm. Why well, don't you have that as your goal? I don't know how successful it will be, but yeah, it's a really interesting goal. Um, and if your theories are in any way sane, I guess, you could probably ask Sanida if you ever get back to her. Or forward to her. Yeah. Although, um, she hasn't actually I mean, I don't know why she would say <laughs> Let me tell you about either my grandparents or my grandchildren. <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing, yeah, okay. Um, this is really annoying. And she's never sent you information <laughs> through her. Naming after the grandparents, I was like, oh wait, hold on. Mm -hmm. Are we the unfortunate grandparent timeline? or? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, uh... Or you could have pushed Frozen Land to Ryle Child into the, you know, cracks between. Well, <laughs> this is going to be my. That was my other plan where I said this is a bad idea. I was like, can I take one of them with me through time? Wow. I was like, then she doesn't become a smoothie. What um? <laughs> what level of of fucked up is stealing a child from back in time to discern whether or not. <laughs> The one that you have been hanging around with is that one, or the grandparent of yeah, that? I mean, it's still but a what? Train. But what if you don't? <laughs> what if you don't take some? I don't. You took Lanteral. And keep in mind, uh, Alex, that we're unsure if Lanteral is actually on triaxis or not at the moment. So she might not it's, be a smoothie anymore. <laughs> is, is it really kidnapping if we already have the Nida? Mm. But would you still have her? How many Thanidas? Can you, you get, get on the ship? <laughs> <laughs> um, she might like her great grandkid, right? And or great grandparent. I don't know how it works. I'm confused myself. Or self, I guess. Um, or self. Or That's the other one. Grand self. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so Imagine she just punched herself. I would. That sounds like Sanida. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you got a goal yet? Sounds like a no. Or, yeah, no, I was just, just wording it. Uh, I can't type. I was a friend there wondering why Nico hasn't said anything in a long time. It's because he wasn't feeling so good and left. We us. sold him for money. Yeah, we sold him. There you go. How much did we get so for him, Colin? Buy more chimps. That implies we have chimps. Have you been holding out on us? <laughs> no. I want my chimps. Yeah, right. Where's our chimp divvy up? Um, portions, etc. Also, I'm still not seeing a goal up here. There we go. There oh, we I go. I enter there. Um, I'm mm. add flesh. No, I'm not going to add any more clauses and stuff. 
<laughs> it's tempting and whether though. Whether or not we have the right, the the, mm -hmm. the drive queen or the the dry grandparents or the grandchild or the no, no, mm -hmm. just leave it. Find out why dry it, dry 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 grandparentals are or a bad, bad omen. omen. Cool. I like that. There we go. So we got our goals now. Give Nico a wee bit of leeway on his uh, established self-sustaining in case he does desperately have something that he wants to volley in there. Uh, besides that, though, right? Slavery from the past. <laughs> so, maybe not self-sustaining. So, uh... Anyway, carry on. Yeah, we're just gonna like, take a workforce from the past somewhere, hopefully, forward, yep. maybe. If you take slaves from when it was illegal... No. And take them to yes. the <laughs> <laughs> that jurisdiction now. So that brings me back to that point we made in one of the pre games about um if you were arrested for something illegal that is now legal, should you be released? Conversation that we had. If your sentence would still technically be in place. And where it's in the legal system, basically. Uh it depends how much you've got private companies profiting off your labour. True. True that. Um, and on that note, speaking of private companies profiting off our labour, um, let's do a wrap up chat, shall we? And yeah. I would like. Well, let's face it. Alex got to speak to first, so. Do you want to go for it? No. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, that was a wonderful session. Uh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. went to weird places. Thank you for running around. Um, um, am I still running? I don't know what's happening anymore. So, someone's <laughs> running somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, I actually, I thoroughly enjoyed uh, actually Colin and his chat with Alice. Mm. Uh, some wonderful little heartfelt moments. Um, and him trying to be the the tough cookie. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I really did have a lot of fun in that scene because instinctively I was about to just have. A transition at that point and moves over to you guys, but then I thought Alice does really like Lyco though, like they've kind of been buddies so, but in a different way, like a less um, I don't want to say meaningful, but like a, a less emotionally involved way than like say, Nyx5 and Alice, right? So, yeah, in a less traumatic way than Zig and Alice so, uh, yeah yeah she doesn't like she's building a relationship with the captain now beyond the he tells me what to do and not to do that is good for going forward so uh, it was nice to have her interact with you know somebody who didn't change in her opinion as much as everybody else we gotta keep moving gotta mm. keep changing this is it yeah um, but yeah it was good because it also gives you a bit of insight right into her mindset, I guess, um, where she's at mm -hmm. in relation to weird, um, even if you're who knows where and when apart. Oh, I don't know where I am. I don't know where you are either, buddy, so don't worry about it. Um, Ever. I'll find you again. Don't worry. Uh, anything else you would like to add? Um, yeah. Uh, no, actually, I, I think what I really enjoyed was the juxtaposition between uh, Colin. Well, like those chat with Alice, and that's kind of a straight up human friend crew practical chat, and then the utter nonsense that was uh, weird and zig uh, <laughs> going everywhere, mm. just losing themselves. Uh, but yeah, it was. Uh, I actually also really enjoyed. Well, firstly, all of Zig's stuff in the future past. Mm -hmm. Um. That's a good idea for a film title. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Starring uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. Yep. <laughs> I, mean, I I think you're 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 perilous close to uh, <laughs> no, no. Firewalk with me. <laughs> <laughs> Through the dark of future's past, the magician. Yeah. Or the days of future past. I was going to say yeah, my one's going to have superpowers though. Yeah. So it's entirely yeah. unique. Yes. Like the rest of our ideas this session. <laughs> one um, between two worlds. Fire, walk with me. Anyway, sorry. No, that's okay. And surprisingly better acted than the actor in the TV show. So, well done. <laughs> oh, he's good. I liked him. No, it was fine. Sorry. Alex, please continue. Uh, 
I was say also, yeah, really enjoyed Zig stuff in the future past, but also liked it when uh, jumping back to what we did just as he got out of the chat with Second. Mm-hmm. And just the way that Zig just seemed to have complete implicit trust in him when, you know, when uh, so SK Z- was questioning his sanity. Yeah. Yeah, back on the uh, the ship. Yeah. And she's like, check him again. Check him again. And Zig's <laughs> like, it's, it's weird. This is him. This is normal dialogue. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes he passes out and talks about what God's to blame. Right? That's yep. We've all been there. And her slowly starting to take it all seriously was quite cute. I mean, she did work for a god, right? So... Yeah, but the wrong god. <laughs> Oofed. <laughs> this is when your bank balance drops to zero. <laughs> That's alright. I don't want to use Zig's account anyway. This is true. And Zig's loaded anyway, so... Yeah. yeah. Zig's got, got all the cash now. Mm-hmm. Going through all this cash. That's yep. funny. Mm-hmm. Oh no. Uh, that's it for me. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. And uh, Zig. Where to start? And when? And when to start? That was good. That was lovely. That was amazing. It was fantastic. It was great. And um, uh, no pressure for me there. Thanks. <laughs> to maintain such standards. Um, yeah. I, I guess, kind of echoing uh, what Alex said. I love. Lyco's analysis scene. Um, it was it was just it was nice to have that like Alice really showing that she like wants wants those like interactions and like things that like you know we as people take for granted you know confiding in someone mm-hmm. things like that you know it's just it's just something that you know you don't think about doing if you're doing it. If someone comes up to you and asks you to do it. You're like. Uh, okay. Um, no. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, so it's really nice. It's kind of sweet to see um, almost that like vulnerability of Alice and the fact that she she wants these um, quote unquote you know living uh, people interactions. Yeah, like little human moments, if you will. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess non-computer the actual emotional. Yeah, interactions, and it's it's just it's just really sweet to see, and um, really interesting to see how like she's kind of um, processing that and how it how it works. And it's it's just it's just really cool. I love it. It's weird um, for me being Alice because I look at that and I hear like how you guys have enjoyed just her journey full stop, and I always think I'd love to build an RP a character that well if I was playing that character as a player. And then my brain goes, but Ryan, you are playing that character as a player. And sometimes that disconnect always hits me, where because mm. it's a GM character as opposed to me as a player, um, it's always weird to think that it's... the same skills are involved, right? Even if there's like a disconnect in my head for the um, like attachment, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes any sense. It does to me. Yeah, no, no, that makes, sense. That makes perfect sense. Um, yeah. Um, it's just nice that she feels like a developed character as opposed to a stand-in computer welcoming program, right? Hi, Mally. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, she's just ah, ah, so sweet. Mm-hmm. Um, whether or not she's actually sweet is by the by. I see her as sweet. Yeah. yeah. That's me, Cal. So again, I guess we'll accidentally murder her when he gets a chance. Um, accidentally. Yeah. Accidentally. Um. Obviously, I really enjoyed. Um. Future past. Um. Planet exploding, land and the, the struggling with the the thoughts of mm, could I possibly steal people from this this timeline to my time, um. The thing that I loved and hated the most in this session, uh, which was a beautiful touch, Ryan, thank you, is Edson 14. Right, okay, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. It's. Oh, I, I can't, like, and it's one of these things I can't remember if we had, like, a big conversation during one of those nights. 
<laughs> of where I was talking about Edso 40. I feel like that might have happened now. It's kind of like flooding back. Um, this is why you need to record those conversations. Um, but yeah, because um, Zig obviously feels like it. Edzo is the, the the one thing that he's been flung around time, and it's the one thing he can't seem to get back. Yeah. Um, like, f- for me, oh. that entity taking on that form, it's because it was almost the most desired form for you to see. Right, uh-huh. um, and that's the guess I had to make. Right, it's like who would Zig want to see the most? And yeah, Edzo fourteen is where I landed. So uh. I don't know what that says about a uh, weird if his journey follows the same methodology. Right enough, but uh, <laughs> ah, next. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> Someone I can trust finally. <laughs> So somebody competent. Do you know what's going on? Um, sorry, Karen. Like yeah, I'm also. I'm. I'm really. I'm really loving the implications of the like. Although you know, Nyx has changed into weird and all that. It's like very drastically different from presumably the other Nyxes in the other universes. There's always there always is that kind of like tension that we could still be on the path to. I guess uh, solar system destruction or whatever. Yeah, like queries, like fate, as it were. Yeah, um, I'm I'm really liking that. Like, you know, it we're we're really different. We've done it all differently, but have we? Mm. Um, so that's really interesting. Um, I'm just I'm loving like just weirds, weird and nicks and query and everything. That whole arc is. Just Beautiful. When I've finally finished this game and reveal I've been running a mirrored campaign and one of their players is called one of their characters is called Query and I can only move the story forward in this game when they do it in their game. Yeah. Um when I reveal that that'll be funny. But I am not revealing that yet, so forget all that. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, um Yeah, no thank you for running. Um, thank you for playing. I I love CC and the captain. <laughs> yeah. CC Alice and the Captain was just glorious. Yeah, I thoroughly had a lot of fun when uh, she was like, I used to be a computer, you know? And like was teasing everybody, like, you know, I can hack stuff too, you know, I was the hacker before CC came along. And CC's yeah. like, oh, she's a computer. <laughs> Walks over to her and obviously cares about her now. I like yeah. that, that was funny. And then his little strop, I enjoyed his little strop as well. Just lying on the floor, throwing his comm away. I just love that the the captain's kind of become like babysitting damage control for mm. everyone. <laughs> Small child. Um, <laughs> it's great. Uh, um, I could, you know, what I could just like replay the the whole session. And I mean, you could almost say that um, Zora is truly playing the diplomat, right? Um, <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> the diplodocus or Matt? Azorus. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, anything but, else? Uh, yeah. I will no. I will hand the torch over to Mr. Colin. Hi, Bizarro Colin here. I really liked the conversation with Strange with a Y uh, <laughs> about how he used to be Nox Five. Um, yes. Quarry. So, <laughs> I, uh, I yeah. I, 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 I'll echo the sentiments of of, of my my. Uh, my fellow party people um it was it was it was a, a fun chat with alice uh, we had a lovely little bit for the captain to deal with his screaming babby monster um which is also not a babby monster but a highly intelligent being in its own right mm-hmm. um and uh, yeah so it was it was a, a sort of a bit of a bit of an npc for everyone session uh we all had our own little talk or talks Mm-hmm. And we had a little uh, venture into the previous setting, into Galarian, into, into Pathfinder, really, for his egg. Mm. Uh, Zig crossed systems there. He doesn't know it because there were no dice rolls involved in that one. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's maybe not even true. I can't but uh, yeah, no, so that was cool. We, 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 did, uh, we did get a sense of it being like a place that still maybe sort of exists. Mm-hmm. Um, or maybe 
again, the, the, what's going on with time isn't entirely clear. We mentioned uh, the, the Jerry Queen, who I said I never remember the name of, and have faithfully stuck to. Lanterel. Lanterel. Um, <laughs> uh, we have the thing with her being back, which does raise the question... Is that time stuff? I mentioned this last week. Well, now we also have this suggestion that is this her in the past? Or mm-hmm. is this her grandchild? Or whatever. You know, it's it's curious, uh, but it doesn't really necessarily lead you one way or the other. So we've, we've definitely got a, a lot to chew on. Um, unfortunately, the captain mm-hmm. can stick around, or we could maybe have like wrapped up some stuff there. But such is life. Obviously, Nico wasn't doing too well. Um, Plus, it was okay as a stopping point for that because it meant you just got your nice little conversation, you and Alice, and then uh, it, it, we at least are in drift space, right? Getting to the location. We were both very nice about thank you. Um, <laughs> um, it was super fun, though, right? Like, I always enjoy interacting when. Because, like, like Chloe and Alice have had some really interesting conversations in the past anyway. Because, like, for the most part, I remember a lot of her kind of going to you about like parallel issues she's had with other crew members, right? Yeah. And that's kind of stuck, right? Because maybe it has been, it took her that length of time to re acclimatize to being like, oh, I can actually just go speak to Lyco because he's here about the things I'm thinking. And the parallel group, Alice with a Y. <laughs> Zig with a Y. Um, no, uh, uh, yeah, so that, 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 I, I did appreciate people's positive response to that because it was another call and talks. Uh, but but it, it was nice because I, I, I like to explore that the idea of, of Lyco being kind of a normal guy. Like, mm-hmm. I think it's fun for him uh, to get to be the, one of the more grounded characters. And it's also maybe another reason why Alice sought you out for that particular advice because, like, yeah, the captain doesn't really have those points of reference or really. Like he he, di- he had a connection with Emmeline, right? But it hasn't really made any. Like I don't want to like undercut like Nico's opinions of what Zora thinks about that, but what we see is a very almost professional relationship beyond yeah, the I, the I crew bond, that. right? Like there's a crew bond. I, that is sort of true of Lyco as well. I think he sees the whole crew as his friends, but I think he, he also sees that the, the relationship as a very professional one. Mm-hmm. Um, he makes a point of trying to always, even if he is poking fun at him, he always tries to acknowledge the captain's leadership role. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so that's, that, that, that was fun for me too. Uh, I don't <laughs> I don't know why Sig just decided to attempt to lie, other than I encouraged him to do so. But I told him to tell a really outlandish lie, and he came up with a boring, normal one, and then ran away. <laughs> I felt like it's one of those things, though. Like, right? Like that's how Zig would tell a bad lie. Like he would say something that's actually quite believable, but say it in such a way that it just doesn't like. That, that's definitely so, not. So, you're really overlooking my favourite part of that entire interaction is that he didn't run away. He flew away as a glowing ball of light. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so awkward. No I love it. Um, the real. Yeah. Sorry, no, carry on. No, continue. Uh, I, I, won't, I won't hear your, your thoughts. I was just going to say, like, the, the real thoughts there were the fact that people weren't reacting to the fact that. Because obviously, like, Callum knew this was, like, you know old-timey fantasy-esque world mm-hmm. where, you know, most of the time when you're dealing with giant rats, they're um, feral things that you're killing in dungeons. In um, the basements of Tavern. Yes. But you yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my goodness, I have the horde of giant rats in my cellar. Um, there are no brave rats adventurer, in, please help. in the tunnels. And, uh, <laughs> but no one was, nobody seemed to be bothered by, well, Phil didn't seem to be bothered by the unsung hero of today, by the way. Hell yeah, Phil. Phil. didn't seem to be uh, bothered by a, a, a talking three-foot rat um, wearing uh, mirrors mm-hmm. on his body, essentially. <laughs> um, so the real kind of test of flying was like to see if anyone would just go... The, what? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah, that I mean, was people it, just that gave him like a wide berth and that's about it. And so I feel like, okay, well, clearly this is a 
Civilized but we have guns. had bits like touching on the idea of like Galari and having been connected to other worlds, and that is something that I know is true of Starfinder, not Starfinder Pathfinder. That despite being a fantasy setting, very much based in D and D, interplanetary travel is a thing in it. Um, mm -hmm. With the the elves did have their world in it, right? That's a the thing. elves. That's a very thing, a very strong thing with the elves, in fact. Yeah. And the Olibrians have Eox. Mm -hmm. um, so the idea of literal aliens with their own home planets in the same solar system are a thing in that sci-fi, uh, that fantasy game. And um, Zig did technically give himself the answer by saying star vessels because it's what Thanida called them before yeah, she I, had I, I modern knowledge. Really struggling to try and remember what it was. Yeah. And I was like, um, uh, what did she say? Um, yeah. I, I, I mean... Now you got it. We got, you got it. One, um, yeah. Star vessels. Yeah, that was that was good fun as ever. Um, I've I've enjoyed this sort of like weird sort of reflect and reflected oh. sort of selves and things. I I enjoy that kind of stuff. Um, good. I'm glad. I, and and it's uh, obviously it, next story is rife with it. We see a little of it in Callum's uh, as well. I think we see it in all of our stories. It's definitely something you have been doing. Um, there wasn't necessarily as clear cut. I like this is the this is the the Zig that Zig is meeting. But you know, a priestess, well, you have someone who is a woman of, of faith, a practitioner of religion, and, and of course, Zig is is like an acolyte of this god. So you've got you've got like it's. I'm going to go out on a limb and suggest that you may even have, by design, created these circumstances <laughs> in which Zig met someone who was also a person of faith. Um, hmm. I don't know. I, 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 this could be wholly organic. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, you're right. This entire 61 sessions of sheer chaos could be completely uh, organic. Uh -huh. uh, and, uh, I'm glad you're enjoying it, though. I am definitely glad to you're enjoying it. Again, was also good because we did get that little role reversal with them going, "Hey, what are you doing here?" Mm -hmm. um, that is was it cool? Yeah, that, is this mine or yours? Yeah. Um, that also that's quite sweet that because cute. there's this like yeah, there's affection there and there's a sense of melancholy too. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of it does make me curious to hear more about his <laughs> crew members. You, let's be honest, his Lyco is what you want to hear oh, about, right? I hear about his Lyco, but I want to hear about all of them. Oh. Um, well, I don't. Yeah, I do particularly want to hear about his life. Hi, guys. Would you be though if his life didn't become a barrier and just died? I mean, that'd be quite sad. He may. Yeah. He may go. Who's, who's Lyco? We see. We see that guy that that, that died that time. <laughs> I think I read about him in the newspapers. Oh, um, that's the zombie cop guy that got shot in the head when he woke up again because he's a zombie. Yeah, that'd be a horrible storyline. You should maybe ask yeah. Query if you ever meet him. You know, I don't know if Lyco would. <laughs> I would. I know Colin would, but yeah, I think I agree with Colin you. <laughs> I don't know if Lyco would need to know that. Because I think Lyco's had too many things confirmed about the unknown for him, to be honest. Yeah. I think Lyco would take the view that isn't me, regardless. Mm. Yeah. Um, it's, it's one of those things where I like comparing and contrasting how characters I've played before would act, and obviously Deatrick would be profoundly interested in something like that. Mm -hmm. um, he would probably be very irritated if the other version of him was more competent than him. <laughs> um, but like, Lyco, I think Lyco just isn't that... It's like, yeah, it's a different universe. Um, they've got a me too. I, I, I don't, okay. Mm -hmm. So what? Um... You know, their universe is dead. Doesn't matter to me. Um, it, I, it's not because he, he's he's sort of completely different. It's just because it's like, well, that is over there in their world, and it's not supposed to be part of ours. Um, Understandable. And I think it's not, not. It's not that he's incurious so much as it's just that uh, he, he's not mystically inclined. He's not mm -hmm. someone who's interested in. Mega science or whatever. <laughs> yeah, the, the, he's, he's a much not, more street he, level guy. I think is the best yes, way to put he it. Is, he is. He's he, he's more. He's. Uh, I was going to say more Spider Man, but Spider Man is ludicrously super powerful. Um, but he's more like a daredevil. And yeah. You guys are the FF, right? Um, That's generous. 
But we did have I some mean, Human Torch, I guess, in this session. Yep. Yeah. Some yeah, Mr. Fantastic uh, as well. Exactly. Yeah. Mm hmm. That's um, weird. Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. we, 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 you can see what I mean, right? Um, yeah. Um, those two are. I mean, not the captain so much, although again he has had that a very prominent guy. No, he, in, no, he, he's the invisible power. woman, right? And he uh, has Frank, and he has Franklin to look after, right? So, yeah. <laughs> um, or Valeria. Yeah, so yeah, more Valeria, really. Mm -hmm, yeah, Valeria could talk very young. Um, <laughs> so it's yeah, it's it, it, it is it is interesting because I, I I have this weird dynamic where I'm playing the guy who's the least interested in the magicy stuff, which mm. is just. So entirely not me, but there you go. Mm -hmm. That's been good. Um, I think um, for me as well. I just want this this to be a very very strong warning. But what happens when you split the party? Remember when we were on Akaton and everybody was together and it was the good times, and then these were like, okay, good. Now the GM has told us we have two different tasks to do, and we also have different ships. And he's then encouraging us to split the party. Never listen to me, guys. Never. Ah, but if we don't listen to you now that you have said <laughs> not to listen to you. Yeah, but that, that's in keeping with the tones of this game, right? At least we got the division right. Like, imagine if we sent a weird person and a sensible person together. Right. Um, no, we sent the two grounded, competent characters off. I mean, you could always have sent all the NPCs off in one ship together, and just you guys stuck <laughs> together. Ooh, new plan. <laughs> but then... Oh, the NPCs at the sound. genius how you basically conned us into sending those two off. <laughs> what do you um, mean conned? Yeah, I let you pick. You talked to me. You talked us into it. We would have, we would have worked out a different way. Um, I don't know if you would have. Wait, I wouldn't. They would have definitely gone with the age. Like that's yep. just that's, that's fact. Because, no, because sorry. Let's that ends well. Let's let's rewind a bit. If Colin means the whole story over the sixty odd sessions that we've had has meant that Nix's past interactions with people from the Solar Monastery has led him to want answers about that dot 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 and Zig's entire life about the sun, versus literally versus with your former boss on there and the Vesk connection. I feel like Yuz did this. So don't put this on me, Colin. You didn't write the story. <laughs> and I didn't the start the fire. Um, how true that is in some cases because that's where you end up in fucking the negative zone and then on planets that shouldn't exist anymore. Uh, it's not my fault. I don't know if it is anymore. I'll be honest with you, you might be okay in that one. Um, <laughs> it might be next two, not next two's fault though. Um, who was first, obviously. Just had another thought. Next, go and oh. give it to you. You had another thought, sorry? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. if, if, I mean, it, there's a big if. If Zig was in the future times, and that is, you know, the mind is grandchild or whatever. Who breaks, be who, breaks, who breaks Galerian again? <laughs> wait, wait, but no, it could. See, that's. What do you think? Rebuilding it. Elves mature pretty quickly for creatures that live a long, long fucking time. So, right, am, am, am I right in thinking Pathfinder slash Starfinder elves mature pretty close to human rates? Uh, I honestly can't give you the answer right this second, but I can get you the answer in a, in a, in a few but seconds. I, <laughs> I think I'm right in that. If so, she could have had grandchildren when she was 60, say. Um, I suppose, and if she's like 300 years old or whatever. Or yeah, well. or older. That, or then, 300 years old at time of incarceration or whatever. Yeah, so we, we don't, you know, plus who said it was hard, you know. Um, so there's definitely, there's a lot of ways that can go. I wouldn't, I wouldn't try and pin it down too neatly with the information you've got. So they're considered adults about a hundred and naturally really? live that up long? to about 750. So they, okay, taking up to about 100 to, to be considered adults, they probably are sexually mature slightly before that, so being a grandparent in their 140s seems pretty reasonable. Mm -hmm. um, that's, you know, probably you'd be talking about two to 300 before that, but, you know, we don't really know how old they are. Um, mm. We certainly have that hint about her age. She did say something about 300. 
uh, and so we could save 300 before the gap. But how long? I was going to say. The gap? Yeah. What that does imply, though, is something you've kind of missed because mostly you try and forget her name all the time. That means Lan Taral is a Either post. Way, for like 600, say. It means she's a post and pre gap entity. And yeah. a smoothie. <laughs> and a smoothie. Um, uh, although, you know, um, we actually had mention of one of those in the session today as well. Mm -hmm. The necromancer. Well, Mm -hmm. Indeed. Who to be fair he's not gonna turn up, I don't think, because he did get killed immediately afterwards. But you know, he's a necromancer. Yeah, but where were you going, right? In that mission you were caring about moments ago? Um that Eox mission, remember? Where you're gonna go to the yeah. the hall uh -huh. of the hall of the hall of not so dead necromancers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's almost almost like foreshadowing in some way. Not my foreshadowing. Just someone's. So, um, guys, that was a great session. I had a lot of fun. I am glad you are enjoying the absolute unpredictable chaos that is most of the things that should probably make sense. I hope you can... Besides the more recent last two sessions of Bizarro Land, I hope you could see that there is some form of end in sight to the game. Um... <laughs> It's I'm doing my best to avoid it. It's called Pathfinder, yeah, we're just trying to prolong the this. prequels game. <laughs> um, so yeah, when you all finish making your Pathfinder two characters, um, you know the oh, Lyco of Pathfinder, yeah, the, uh, the weird, we yeah, the weird of Pathfinder. Um, I don't even know how that would work. Maybe a witch weird, right? They they're in Pathfinder, right? Uh, uh, yes, and that's where he took his name from. Yep. So there you go. Right. Um, uh, the yes, ancestors is totally the most accurate word. Yes. Um, or we just play each other's characters. I, I had been thinking, like, uh, a prequel game would possibly be fun, but I don't know if I would find Lyco as interesting when he's just cop Lyco. <laughs> I think, yeah, I know I have a, sh a, a thing for the undead, but... I think that does make him a more interesting character. Just play the Necromancer and kill Lyco. No. Just have that be <laughs> Um We will continue this in a moment, but say goodbye, everybody, for at least the recording. Goodbye, uh, Dr. everybody. Fuck you. Uh. Colin. <laughs> Colin, say it properly. Goodbye. Otherwise, we're never getting off this call. Yes. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.